I'm just also, saying, like, 16 is a great age to suddenly decide that you're not little anymore. Yeah, but let's, like, what happens when you turn, like, 30, then 40, and then 60? Like, with those milestones, what do you do with your name? Well, then you become old Bow Wow and very old Bow Wow. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't roll off its tongue very well. I mean, it's rap. It's not supposed to be easy. <laughs> then... <laughs> then, then why is he called the Easy Motherfucking E? Yeah, but I love. well, there's there a goes whole, our YouTube upload. There's a whole <sighs> album called Pimpin' Ain't Easy. Like, come on. I see. Did you have to look it up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check. I don't know if I can trust Mark and his <laughs> rap knowledge. I don't trust anyone in the rap know. knowledge. Thanks for getting us demonetized, you nerds. Yeah, thanks, Connor. guys. It was, was Connor. I'd it give it up me. at this point. <laughs> oh come on! It was it, it was like fifty seconds, not like you seven. Bleep it out, right? Sure. You have to. But you have to bleep it out. Austin, Austin, get out your hamster cage and bleep out Connor's funny but, words. But but if is if is this direct upload to YouTube? I don't know. I'm not. I don't. That's not me anymore. You're so far but, divorced from the process now. I, I really am, which is honestly for the best. I it, you it take is. a look at my YouTube. I'm so garbage at uploading my own vods to my own YouTube channel. God forbid. Did you guys do oh. better than the Mario movie credits? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the Mario movie. I haven't seen the Mario. Good work on the. Movie. Uh, good work on the Mario movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're welcome. By the way, they they, they missed Stop, an R. In the, they missed an R in the credits, but you know what? I, I applaud them for it. It's the most <laughs> they could have done, you know, since they completely fucking missed Grant Kirkhope. I was just gonna rap. say, oh, yeah, yeah, it could have been yeah. a lot worse. It could have been Wait. a lot worse. I could have just not been there at all. <laughs> he did not, yeah, yeah, no, Connor, he did not get credited. It was just from the from Donkey Kong sixty four, not Grant Kirkhope. Yeah, like not Grant Kirkhope. Like what the fuck? Damn. Yeah. Absolute few, Nintendo move. One of the few bad things about that movie. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> move right there. <clears throat> but, Regardless. But seriously, just just look at look at the fucking uh, cr watch the visual uh, effect credits. There's a guy who's called Christoph Zito, and the best part is I looked him up on Google. My picture's on the front page. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, oh that's horrible. That's really it's, funny. It, oh my it's, god! It's like it's like he's not sure. It's like Christoph or Zito. Well, Zito. well I, I also <laughs> did I not tell the story about how someone uh, I, I applied for a job at Viacom and then someone else called Chris Zito got the call for the interview. Oh no! And then they and then how they many sent Chris me, Zitos are out there? Then <laughs> enough to for him to to send me an email and tell me in that email you should really think about changing your name to something more unique. Wow. wow! How about fuck shut that the guy. fuck off? Shut yep. <laughs> no, dude. My name is Mark Allen Jr. and I fought my way to be the first result on Google. But you know what? <laughs> like, you know, you know what? I couldn't be mad at him because his occupation was comedian. Oh well. Uh, I mean, okay, you can't take it seriously. <laughs> he then. succeeded. Wow, that's the that's the funniest thing he's ever said. <laughs> Regardless, Meanwhile, welcome to the Unexpectables, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome oh, to We're here. I told you we'd be back. That was a threat. Uh, <laughs> guess, guess who's back with a, a brand new rap? Uh, it's us. Little Bow Wow? I shouldn't rap. No. I don't let me rap. <laughs> uh, but welcome. Uh, we're, we're here. We're uh, on a very exciting point in the story. Uh, but let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves. Guy and Goomba, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Uh, boy, oh boy. Um, so on a on a relative whim, I dropped that uh, Agretzko video. Turn forty five minutes turned to thirty three. Uh, uh -huh. it's it's apparently doing numbers. I did not expect that. But uh, if you ever if if you watched Agretzko and thought it was kind of weird after season three, and it got really really weird by season five, I I just break down the South Park levels of commentary that that show is, is, is trying to bring across because I'm just tired of arguing with knuckle draggers. Um, no, no, I, I want people punched. I, I, I wasn't expecting to hear that. <laughs> there are some look look i get i get i get very heated and very angry in that video and apparently people love it so i'm going to get more angry more often apparently man it's the gaijin don't, goomba don't, angry arc no get, it's the don't, don't sabotage it's, yourself though there you know take care of yourself no 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 it's fine it, it's the goomba rage as as it used to be called 
Uh, no, but coming up hopefully this weekend, I've got a video on Tengen Uzui from Demon Slayer. I'm finally doing a Witch Ninja on that guy. Uh, mm. And there's going to be some anger in that as well. So if you like to see me passionate and really going out there, be sure to check that out. But uh, streaming Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. Been playing Pokemon Bushido because Zito's getting me into Pokemon fan games, whether he realizes it or not. And that Play game... Infinite on Fusion! And, and that, that game is hard. Like, wow, it, it really digs your butt. But it's weeb as hell, so I can't be too mad at it. It's fun. So I'm, I'm just doing that and finally playing some uh, one-page rules tabletop. So, yeah, that me. Right on. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat, sleepy cat, Bunny, whose birthday is today. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Bunny. On Instagram at chonk for life uh, Big thing, uh, this Saturday, they finally, like, just announced it right before we went live. Uh, if you are in the DFW area and you happen to be a Blue Lock fan and or also like playing soccer, uh, Crunchyroll is hosting... A, an event at uh, Cross Bar. Uh, it is in Dallas, and it is an indoor soccer place. And uh, I will be there, uh, as well as several other voice actors. We're going to be playing some soccer. I will probably be breaking some hips and bones and other such things, because I'm an old man now. But, uh, yeah, come on by. I have uh, my jersey. I just ordered some kick-ass soccer shoes. Uh, so I will be there as Kuanish as I could possibly be. And I hope other people in the area come by. It should be a fun time. And then I will go home and cry about how old I am. How old are you, Mark? I'm 35 in June. Shut I know up. it's not that old compared to I'm some of you guys. I'm one year older than <laughs> you. But you Fuck forget. Up. No, but you forget. I did sports all throughout middle school and high school, and in college, I did martial arts and parkour. I threw myself off buildings for fun, and then I joined a stunt team where I got not one, not two, but three concussions. So, you know, I Mark, think I, I wear my age worse than you guys do. Yeah, but I played hockey! Fuck you! You did, that, you did that to yourself, There was padding bro. in hockey. I didn't say I didn't oh. do it to myself. I just said I'm old bite, and broken. Bite, bite, bite. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm that's turning, it for me. I'm turning 40 soon. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but you walk more than I do. No. <laughs> Broke door, no. 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 Hey, there you go. <laughs> Can't wait and I'm until, until I'm the most powerful old guy because I didn't do shit growing up. I know, right? Uh, it feels crazy. <laughs> Zeno, where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Zeno, where Friday will be the last uh, personal stream for quite a while, because after that, I am dedicating the rest of my time packing up and moving from Texas to New York. So, the most, like, if you are going to... I'm just... I'm moving, basically. That That's the gimmick. I, I'm moving, and I don't know when I'm going to get my uh, internet and computer stuff back, uh, hopefully middle of next week. But uh, I don't know, like, like it's, it's all up in the air because I'll be getting all my stuff uh, from the truck on hopefully that Tuesday, latest that Wednesday, but it's, it's just tumultuous. But hopefully by the following week, I should be back on a regular schedule. I, I can't wait for you to have your I want song as soon as you get back in. I get to I get to have bacon, egg, and cheese. I'll be the happiest man on planet fucking Earth. Go go into a deli at three a.m. Yeah, I no you fucking joke. I I'm love not joking. That. No, I'm not joking. I've I've experienced that mood, and I understand. I'm I'm sorry. What time do you guys close? What do you mean close? I fucking love New York City. <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. I I will be there next week. I, I should be getting I should be getting into my new place by middle of next week. So, like I said, stop by Friday. I'm still figuring out what I want to do for it, but uh, it will be the last personal stream I do in a while. 
I want right to be where the Phillies are. I almost wrote down Chocobo instead of Axe Oops. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone would have uh, noticed. Would have, no one would have noticed. Uh, we're gonna have to. Minded. We're gonna have to write an Axe Beak theme song. That's like basically the Chocobo Axe theme song. Beak, Axe, 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 just Axe, someone, Axe, someone yeah. on the top of the Square Enix building just Walker loads a sniper one. rifle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys see that red laser? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? Oh, goodness gracious. You can find me canceling my streams all the time because my life is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> um, oh. I'm busy. I, I literally have had two major things on Monday, and I'm very sorry that I have not been able to stream consistently. I'm hoping that eventually things will even out, but this month has been incredibly busy for me between uh, uh -huh. conferences and getting my driver's test, and I have to do my taxes now. So I'm very crammed at the moment, but um, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, and you can find me at my YouTube, which is also Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, should be more Dungeons the Mad Mage. Uh, the party may have made an oopsie doopsie poopsie whoopsie. Uh, so there might be a bit of a follow up on that. Um, little, mm. little bit of advice. Don't give intelligent creatures eight hours to plan. <laughs> um, oh, because oh. you want to take a long rest, especially when that creature is an avalith. Oh, boy. Uh, but uh, I digress. Uh, Monday, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see, um, will be um, Mass Effect, but it sounds like we won't be having a Dragons of Stormwreck Isle game due to somebody having to go to the doctors. Not because it's an emergency, it's just a checkup, but it's like not exactly a thing that can be rescheduled. So there will be no uh, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, but there hopefully, fingers crossed, will be uh, Mass Effect. I really want to get back into playing Mass Effect. Uh, but uh, additionally, you can catch me, I'm guesting right now, with our friends at Dice Legends. I'm playing Rubik, the green dragonborn wizard. Uh, and I have two more sessions of that, so if you're interested in checking that out, uh, that'll be on Sundays. Finger guns, there you go. Right on. Edward Bosco, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VM, both Instagram and Twitter, right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Time. Time. That's really good. We're going to have to confer with the judges on that one. I think you may have beaten your previous record by 0 0.01 milliseconds. Yeah, now that, that we're not considering crazy. low times in the Bosco introduction speed run, that definitely will. We'll see how the numbers stack up. Yeah. Oh, yeah it's definitely, definitely up there. Definitely. At least a PB. At least a PB. Um. Yeah, I guess that leaves me. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, playing some uh, Judgment. Uh, I I played a di uh, for April Fool's Day. I played a different uh, story-based crime drama. Uh, in in lieu of uh, it's the same vein of game as uh, Judgment. Uh, a, a crime, uh, a story-based crime drama, uh, Henry Stickman. Um, yes. Uh, and also going to be wrapping up uh, Deus Ex uh, at some point in the near future. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I really got for right now. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Die dice! I hope chat. We've been seeing we've been seeing photos of people's new dice, by the yeah. way, for those who yeah. got it like almost immediately. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, I wish I was you. Uh, I hope you guys love them as much as I do. I'm holding mine right now. They oh they feel so good. Uh but thank They're you everybody. Probably gonna kill who, us today. Uh, maybe we'll see. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Die Hard Dice. This death is brought to you in part by Die Hard <laughs> Oh. Uh, but yes, if you guys have not seen it, we have. I'll show it up on the screen now. Wallfly. <laughs> we have our own unexpectable themed dice, the Lies Aspect dice that are available at dieharddice.com. They are very nice. People have gotten their hands on it. If you have gotten, if, if you've ordered the dice, or Rather, if you've received your dice so far, uh, put put a one in chat if you have received your dice that you had ordered. Yeah, there's a lot of people that I saw on Twitter. People uh, got them fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real yeah, fast. Yeah, I got mine in like three days. Look at all That's... those ones. Oh my god. One. I see like That's a so two and a five. There's a 900. One! 
Uh, one. I feel like if you live internationally, it'll probably take longer to get to yeah. you. Because, like, whenever Die Hard Die sends me anything, for some reason, early on, it would get rerouted to Mexico and then would come to Canada, which was uh. super bizarre. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support, and thank you so much, Die Hard Dice, for, like, letting us do that. It's super cool that we have official dice. It's, like, I, I, it's so cool. But, uh, yes. Yeah. You can get a hold of the uh, official Lies Aspect Dice at dieharddice.com. And if you use the coupon code UNEXPECTABLES, you can save 10% on your order. Uh, as well, be sure to check out our store. Uh, we are selling t-shirts and other merch with uh, unexpectables related logos on it, such as the Sweet Dragon, Avon's Cup, and also a brand new design from our one and only Citric King. I went to Eastonvale and all I did was die. <laughs> I love that Gosh, shit so spoilers. Much. <laughs> it literally happens the first episode. Gaijin, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, no spoilers. Wait, Aerith dies? No! Uh, sorry, it's Aerith. No. Thank you. Joking, it's Aerith to me. Uh, it's Earth. Yes, guys. It's Earth. Yeah, it's Earth. It's Earth. Earth. Yeah. That other one is a website full of uh, 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 inappropriate content. Right. Yeah. Every website. <laughs> uh but that's not all we've that's not all the people we have to thank we also have to th thank wonderful people like you in the chat that's right you, your Nathan. wonderful you yes wow. carl i just wanted to freak out someone named nathan because i'm sure we have yeah. one in chat <laughs> one, one of our nathans went huh. <laughs> uh, people such as Venmaru Karos Corwin, thank you for the 23 months. My brain is jelly. I have nothing witty to comment. Lunatic Crow, thank you for the uh, 36 months. X Machinus, thank you for the 26 months of Prime. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 25 months. Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 33 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the 10 bits. Can't watch live today. Power is out. Gonna have to catch the VOD. Hope your power comes back on soon. Uh, 1,000 bits from Bubba Bob. I am thoroughly disappointed that my Lies Dice tastes like, uh, tastes like mint. I, uh, that my, wait, that my Lies Dice to taste like mint like I thought they would. Maybe the free yellow ones will taste like lemons. Stop eating the dice. Uh, we got it, we Die Hard Dice is going to have to do what Nintendo did and put like a thing on like, yeah, they put the Switch cartridges taste bad. Oh, yeah. yeah just the dice taste bad. Yeah, make the dice taste bad. Just do the thing that Tide Pods did because Tide Pods used to smell good. But now every time I handle them, my hands smell disgusting. It's because idiot people wouldn't stop chewing on them. They don't even smell like soap. Anymore. Anyway, I'm done. Sorry. Oh. More, more business. Okay. <laughs> Kearney Deet, thank you for the uh, six months. Been a while since I could catch one of these live. Here I am. An acceptable name. Thank you for the 36 months. He fought the Google algorithm and won. Give it up for Mark, everybody. That's me. <laughs> the Drifter of Time and Space. Thank you for the seven months. Seven months. I'm doing my own D&D games uh, whenever these are on, but I listen to the VODs at work. Thanks for making my day. Emerald Bandit. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Vien and Norvius, thank you for the 14 bits subspace emissary. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, 250 bits from raw sodium. My lies aspect dice came in literal hours before the session. I love these things. I'm happy you guys have official dice now. Yeah, and if we're lucky, those might not be the only ones. Yeah. Uh, Gallant Gizmo, thank you for the six months. Uh, half a year. Thank you all so much for stoking my interest in D and D. Yeah. Uh, Sario88, thank you for the 36 months. Update on my progress. Uh, after a month and a half, I'm on episode 115 of Campaign 1, and I already got the crew done. Uh, let's see if my last month of being unemployed will get me through the remainder of Campaign 1 so I can start rewatching Prince Division. Ooh, nice. A fine year. Uh, Dippy333, thank you for the bit. Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for gifting a sub to Ice Dragon D. Uh, bunch of numbers, thank you for the 36 months. Uh, my god, I've been here for three years and I bloody love it. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 12 months. A full year, I can't believe I'm here to witness the collateral damage. Uh, 
kill count go up when Walker meets Tom. Also, oh, no. uh, Monty, my dice arrived and they are beautiful. Oh, I'm glad. They are really nice. Walker passes by Tom and it's like Conqueror's hockey just starts splitting the sky apart. <laughs> <laughs> I would wow. think that's what it would sound wow. like. I think of it more of a uh, Yakuza moment. <laughs> Both of them take off their shirts on the rooftop. <laughs> sure, let's go. What, so one of them's on fire red, like going into berserk mode? <laughs> Indeed. Fat Spartan, thank you for the 19 months. Two months until he who funny number. Can't wait until I get my hands on the Toxic Crusaders game I hear so much. Unexpectables. Uh, this, here's so many Unexpectables voices bringing some hideously deformed justice. That's right. Some A lot of familiar voices in that game. Yep. Uh, where am I? Bubba Bob, thank you for the gifted sub to King Bushy Beard. That's me. Wait, Dare Bushy you. Beard. Pretender. Uh, Lost me the robot, thank you for the 100 bits. Praise Oriara. Ace Bounty, thank you for the 85 bits. Uh... Bosco, I got to play a Halo arcade shooter called Fireteam Raven. Not too bad. I would like your opinion if you've ever played it. Uh, I have not, but I'll look it up. Mm. Mm. Uh, Devil's Advocate, thank you for the 22 months. I missed the funny number. Zymosite, thank you for the raid. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Birthday bits for the loaf. The Ink Den, thank you for the 145 bits. Can't stay as I got my own D&D stuff I need to work on. I wanted to drop by and thank you all for being so entertaining. And also an extra 45 for Gaijin for doing so, uh, for using my song at the Demon Fight. Yeah, it was a good one, dude. Yeah. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 33 months. Can't stop picturing Eskan as an Inteleon from Pokemon. What would that make the rest of you goobers? Um, Arceus, definitely. No, the illegal. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Arceus, thank you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would I would be okay with that. I'm trying to think what everyone else would be. Milo is a soul rock. I, I feel like, yeah, Milo's a soul oh, rock. No, I feel like guys no. would be a, go, a go goat are, on Clear Skiddo. There are two different fire cat Pokemon. Come You're on. You're not a cat. No, but my god is. Yeah, your god is the sun. Solgaleo. Solgaleo, actually, would be like Orin. So you would be like we, Cosmog. We can't be oh, legendaries, money. though. That's not fair. Money. Would, Cosmog. Would, <laughs> no, would, would, Entei, would Entei not be the allegory for Orin in this situation? No, no. it would be Solgaleo. No, 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 yeah. no. No, Milo would be a uh, uh, Litleo. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see mm. Litleo. Yeah. And then Otho and Kai is hard. That They're trainers. Hard. I feel like they'd be like <laughs> Shinx and Luxio, like respectively. That'd be pretty funny. I have no idea. Lynn would a hundred percent be Houndstone, like a hundred percent. As established, I have no idea what's going on with Pokemon. That's fair. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have three Jet Night Gaming. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Have some dinner money. Ooh. Uh, Meta. Meta Lepsis, thank you for the 31 months. Uh, 31 months, I crave chaos for the chaos gods. Uh, Boggy13, thank you for the two months of Prime. Been watching the VODs since the beginning of season one. This is my first time actually watching live. Well, welcome. Welcome. Uh, Alchemage, thank you for the four months of Prime. I love your show. I've been here for years and I finally subscribed. Well, well thank you as well. The Fabulous Gay Bear. Thank you for the 35 months. Demon Chicken of Doom. Thank you for the 22 months of Prime. Uh, Jasmine Jr. Thank you for the seven bits. It's been a long time since I caught live. Have some bits. A lot of returning people. Yeah. What is happening? Uh, Gorn Z 55 Thank you for the 100 bits. Probably don't need to say this, but I'm guessing Monty is screaming with joy when Goliaths are now going to be a part of the main races in the new Player's yep. Handbook. When they really oh. the I was there. Handbook. I yeah, was there. I, I, I have... messaged Connor and I smashed my keyboard. I was like, oh! <laughs> like, I made a holy noise. I was so excited. I was like, yes! Oh. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm honestly I'm honestly pretty excited for the Goliath variants that they have the sub yeah the sub, they mentioned uh, that yeah 
it's all play test uh, right now, and we don't want to go into it because we'll be here forever. But yeah, it was very, very interesting. Still, very uh, some very cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, rare. Um. Uh, Protoss 103, so when taxes in the Unexpectables, ah, uh, yes. We, oh. everybody, everybody stops what they're doing in the middle of cleansing the bead. We just pull in a desk and I, I put on my glasses and my typewriter to calculate deduction from the trip to Monterado and, uh, just, count just got to... or a W2. Can we write off the, uh, the boat <laughs> stuff or is that, is that not a business write-off? Are, do we still owe for the year we were all dead? That's a good question. <laughs> good question, man. Uh, McLovin, thank you for the 19 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 39 or 95 bits. Sorry. Congrats on getting your license to be forklift certified, Monty. Oh man, I'd love to. I'm not for. Do you know who is forklift certified? My good friend Shay. Shay has got like every certification, and I feel like she just collects them now. <laughs> Under but the shining sun. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Money. But, uh, yeah, no, I do have my license. I actually went for a drive today. I went to buy groceries hey. and I felt incredibly free. I was like, oh my god, I can just go buy a, a sandwich and not have to worry about it. This is very nice. So. Indeed. Drago soon, thank you for the 30 months. One sweet girl, thank you for the four bits. Bought and received my beautiful and delicious looking Unexpectables dice. <laughs> Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Got my Lies Aspect dice as well. A bonus red and gold set. I'm dubbing the Task dice. Nice. Mm. Uh, Ivan the Vandal, uh, with 31 months, if Greckles and Seika did a Manzai, who would be the bouquet? Fucking what? what um, mean? Honestly, I think uh, it depends. Like, early... If it was if it was like early Jin Greckles, he would be the bulkay. But um, no, like if if it was when they met, uh, yeah, I, th I think Seika would be the bulkay. Uh, yeah, probably. There you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Connor, I'm gonna give you like uh, two more minutes if you're okay. Uh, we don't have very much at all. Okay. Cool. Um. King Kiwi, think of the 100 bits in less than two weeks. Tax season will end, and I can officially say. This is the first tax season I've survived as an accounting intern. Ooh. Uh, 20 BMG, thank you for the 200 bits. My free dice are green apple flavor. Just kidding. I really love the lies dice, and they're a key part of my dice. Uh, uh, Mr. Pockets, thank you for the 36 months. Next D&D is D&D 5RE Remastered Edition. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. Resident Evil. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Can you convert this into Electrum? That was the... <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, Dippy333, thank you for the 93 bits. Uh, Kuro Okami, thank you for the 30 months. We've always had a stream brought to us by Die Hard Dice. Now we have Die Hard Dice brought to us. Loving the new set and just waiting on the sweet dragon shirt to show up now. Yeah. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the seven months. It's time to cop. Uh, Brian Merrill, thank you for the 69 bits. Just watched the Lackadaisy pilot. Mordecai reminds me of Otho. You know, I think I, I watched it last night and a lot of people actually said that. <laughs> uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Are Milo donations tax deductible? <laughs> Lovely Lorelai, thank you for the 100 bits. Truly Goomba, what the fuck are you saying? Uh, I'll explain later. Or break. I see. And King Night Owl, thank you for the 30 months. Just bought my Die Hard dice. Can't wait. I wonder if they're mint flavored. Well, <laughs> hopefully, don't, don't we'll find them. out. Don't don't eat them. Don't find out. All right. Unsafe. Well, is everybody ready to uh, dive into the Unexpectables? Let's in a guess. world of wonder. Like no other. I'm Under sorry. the shining sun. Okay, sorry. All right. Let's get into it. We're people. Right. And we've gathered. Just like the song. <laughs> Come on.
broken. Damn it. So, when last we left our adventures, Iskan Seat Lolly, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Gaius Agni, and Milo Brightbeam, the party's mission is almost complete. After gathering the last pearl of Necrecta, the party need only perform one last ritual to convert its power and revert the accursed land of Eastonvale back to its former self. After traveling through undead fog, racing to Banyer's Bend on Axbeak back, the party takes five days, five days to plan and prepare, and five days to attune to a magical scepter given to them by Lynn. Now, as the fifth day comes to a close and the party finishes their final preparations, we return to Banyer's Ben, and we return to the Unexpectables. What's what's the matter, Chad? Everything's fine. Why are you freaking out? Yeah, the, you know, is Chad freaking out. Wait, I what's don't know. going on? They're, they're acting so weird, as if something happened. Huh? How strange. Um, anyway. Oh, it's because we don't have any music. Oh, oh yeah. Let me yeah, that. yeah. That's kind of. Uh, oh, oh by the way, weird. yeah, Chad's one guying you right now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Probably they're probably one guying me. <laughs> there we go. See you in a better chat. <clears throat> it's like way terrifying to start with. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to go through our list here of downtime. As you guys had five days, though technically each of you had four days because one of those days you needed to take to attune to the item, which Lynn very much specified you had to be like with the item for a whole very long time. Uh, longer than a usual magical item, to be certain. Otho, uh, you went out and went about Banyer's Ben, and surprisingly easy to find a forgery and disguise kit in this town, given the current occupants being of a more criminal background. Mm -hmm. um, it was easy enough for you to find these items, but the price was a little expensive than what you are sure that it is worth, but given the nature of Banyer's Ben and how hard it is to travel in Eason Vale, uh, you're able to find yourself the kits that you required for the price that we had agreed on. Yes. I would like for you to roll for me a either perception or insight check for your second downtime activity, please. Uh, perception or insight? I will roll insight. Okay. Oh, actually, they're the same, so it doesn't matter. Avada Sixteen. Sixteen. <clears throat> Mulling about and trying not to be caught, you know, listening around, uh, you are able to overhear some conversations in passing, you know, here and there, and are able to kind of piecemeal together the current state of the Grey Shroud, who you have a particular interest in. The Grey Shroud being the smuggling group that has kind of not so much taken over Eastonvale, but is definitely benefiting from the state of Eastonvale right now and its undead incursion. Of note, your efforts have not gone unnoticed. The return of the wind and the animals and the removal of the fog has definitely put a lot of them on edge. There are talks about why these things are happening and what would happen if Easton Vale were to return to its former glory. 
which is oftentimes answered with either shut up or we'll figure it out with sort of a nervous air to it. Mm -hmm. In terms of the movement of undead specifically, Worm Tongue is not to be spoken of. You haven't heard anyone even mention the name, so that makes sense. He's not exactly well known. Uh, but in terms of the undead, the attacks on Banyar's Bend are few and far between. And most people, and again, this is not confirmation, but more what people assume is what's going on, is that the return of the animals is somewhat taken the attention from the undead off of people onto the living animals that are now making their way into Easton Vale. Eastcan. Yeah. Your first three that you had sent me are totally fine, and you do so. Your fourth option is actually pretty easy, as you don't want to piss off uh, Diovano Lakmirin. Diovano Lakmirin, mm. especially now, seems a lot more casual, honestly. Okay. He spends most of his time with Julie, obviously, but he has kind of become Lynn's uh, errand boy a little bit. Uh, so he's a little bit more annoyed with her than with you. Oh, I Fair forgot enough. about Wallfly. I'm so sorry. Let me get onto Wallfly. Apologies. <clears throat> um. I would say, for your sake, Eastcan, roll either an insight check or a persuasion check of your choice. Oh, let's go insight. That is a 19. 19. Very good. You, your background, your guild artisan background, which I believe you have, mm -hmm. you are not a stranger to deals and exchanges. Right. And the way that Lakmiran is kind of working for Lynn suggests to you that there has been a bargain struck just based off of his mannerisms and the way that he is moving about. In terms of his reflection towards you and the rest of your companions, uh, with a 19 in particular, he seems to like all of you. He seems a little wary of Otho in particular, um, but for the most part seems to like all of you. Okay. Regarding that deal, does it seem to be something other than the previous deal that was already struck? It feels like it, yeah. Something okay. You get the sense that these two have had a longer conversation without you there, and there's been some sort of unwritten deal between the two. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gaius. Yes? Speaking of Diavano Lakmirin, you train with him, and he is a formidable fighter. He is much more technical than you are used to, and he confesses he's never actually wielded axes before, we like swords are his weapon of choice. Uh, he does train with you as the days go by, just to kind of, you know, keep everything nice and fresh, and also, you know, for you as well to kind of brush up on some of your skills and get used to more of your giant runes. You do ask Lynn about the giant war. Unfortunately, she's not quite sure what you're talking about. Uh, I'm assuming you're mentioning the giant spoken of towards the east. Yes. Yeah, she does kind of scratch her chin and she, she kind of thinks, she goes, I, I did read a book about giants to the east once. Uh, old um, uh, architectural books. Apparently there is a, I think, unless I'm mistaken, a fire giant kingdom in towards the east, but I'm not sure exactly where. And unfortunately, that is all she has in regards okay. to that. Milo. Yes, um. You and Lynn sit down with, like, almost like... <laughs> Midnight girl study night with like, you know, oh, yeah. on your stomach, feet up, kind of paper candles. <laughs> yeah, candles. <laughs> Lynn teaches you about the basic undead that she is aware of, though mm -hmm. she does confess to you that the twisted nature of Eastonvale's curse has brought about new undead she is not aware of, as mm. well as um, other things that she's heard about but not seen before. Um, she tells you about zombies, which are pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, and how their, you know, undead nature tends to be afflicted by radiant damage and the critical hits, which you already know about. Mm -hmm. 
They have a undead fortitude, but are relatively weak and slow. Um, upon discussion, she mentions the ghouls. Ghouls being, uh, you know, a, a different type of creature. They are human beings that have feasted on undead and have turned into a different creature entirely. Uh, and they are sometimes led by what is called a ghast, which is a much more strong and powerful version of a ghoul that tends to bolster the ghouls around it. Oh. Uh, would I? Would she be able to teach me the physical difference between a ghoul and a ghast? Yes, she would definitely cool. be able to teach you that. And I will grab that for you now. Sorry. So, the ghouls tend to be... Um, I'm trying to figure out how to... I'm trying to find my own differences here. Uh, there we go. Uh, ghouls tend to be... Uh, they're, they're very similar. One of the main differences is that uh, gas have longer fingers in general, tend to be you know bigger and more robust, mm -hmm. uh, and have been known to have more serrated, almost pointed vampire teeth and really long tongues, which is kind of a weird thing for mm -hmm. them. Whereas ghouls tend to be a little bit more humanoid. They do have longer compared to human tongues, but are definitely a lot more like a sort of pale human mm. corpse eater, more or less. Is there any other undead that you are curious about? Um, we had was vampires were brought up, weren't they? At some point in our travels, I thought they were. Not to my knowledge, I think in okay. reference they were, but I don't think vampires themselves. Oh, were okay, so that's what it was okay. Yeah. yeah, no, just if there, if she's, if there's anything that she's aware of that we might be fighting, uh, after after this time period, it's it's like I said before, it's very much a know your enemy kind of situation mm. before the fight so if that's if that's all she knows then that's all she knows and can't really do much else about it she informs you that in terms of creatures of an ethereal nature things like wraiths uh uh wraith specters or ghosts uh magical items specifically are best at dealing and handling those mm. though they are very hard to come by uh, and of an interesting note Lynn confesses to you that she has never seen Blightwing. She's only heard about Blightwing. Wow. She's never seen Blightwing. Uh, she does turn to you and says, on the count of being dead, probably, I have not seen him. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was any, like, hearsay or anything that she'd been picking up. She only knows Blightwing from rumor, unfortunately. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else anyone would like to do as we continue with the fifth day and the final attunement? Oh, pray. <laughs> you got it. All right. You all take time, you know, ready your weapons, eat your rations, and Otho, you'll be the last person to attune to the item. And as you finally attune to the scepter, Lynn kind of picks it up off the table and she shows you where it is on her person. She looks for something and goes, I am putting the scepter here. You may need need of it, but it will not be useful until the time is right. How, how will we know when the time's right? Trust me, you will know. And I'm hoping that there will not be a time where it is right, but she kind of looks grim a little bit and looks down at the ground. I have a hunch, but it is not important right now. Rebu, you watch as Rebu is like smoke. He goes, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to remain here with Lakmiran and Julie. I want you to keep your axe beaks here. If we not, if we do not return in a week's time, I want you to leave this place and take them eastward. And you watch as Rebu kind of looks towards Lynn and then looks towards all of you and goes, yeah, okay, I, I, I can do that. Where we're going will not be safe for beasts of burden. Well, Lynn kind of puts her shovel kind of onto the ground, firm like a staff, and she looks towards all of you. What say you? I'll be ready to depart. Mm. I'm ready to finally get this done. 
you watch as Lynn looks towards Lack Mirren and Lack Mirren looks towards you all and goes, Best of luck, my friends. I wish I could fight with you. But uh, he looks behind himself towards Julie, who's still playing with the dogs. She's playing cards with them right now, and the dogs are just kind of lying down. <laughs> it's like the painting. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lack Mirren, in the Black Dragonborn, he kind of looks back towards all. He goes, I wish I could fight alongside you, but I um, I have duties elsewhere. Lynn, he watches. She turns. If what you told me is true, you'll keep your word. And Lynn turns and goes, if I won't, I'm sure they will. And she looks towards all of you. Kind of confused. You're not exactly sure what they're talking about. And Lackbeard kind of nods and sits down next to Julie. And Lynn looks towards all of you and goes, come, let us not waste any more time. Nod, nod. Well, mm -hmm. right. We are walking, Monty. <laughs> yes. You are. Yeah. I'm Physically... walking engaging in the activity known as walking we have to clarify foot, that yep we do foot, right we learned foot, left foot right foot <laughs> as you this. walk i would like everyone to run off two rations please oh mm -hmm. no that's a lot of rations ration good thing i bought some get home mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. My weight limit, it goes down. <laughs> it does, yeah. Every time Shay eats a ration, or Brack eats a ration in Dungeon the Mad Mage, they're like, oh my god, I can carry something now. <laughs> it's so weird, too, because it's like you eat, and you, you suddenly weigh less. Mm -hmm. well, you, you, but, like, you get... the same amount of food went into you as you ate, so... But, Mark, we all poop. We do? Yeah. A, a solid pound? Depends on what you eat, you know? <laughs> Our rations are just like a brick the of rations fiber. rations are a singular pound! <laughs> it's just a one pound brick of fiber. It is one <laughs> shredded wheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. As you all walk, <laughs> you didn't think it possible, but somehow the land is more cursed it's almost like Spongebob said, this isn't just regular darkness, this is advanced darkness. <sighs> and, as the, and as the two-day trip takes you north, that swirling gale of necrotic energy that which surrounds Eastonvale Keep is just a horrifying pillar. Mm. The sky becomes darker and darker until it seems as if cast in a permanent, like, late dusk hue, with only a creep of light ever peeking through. As you walk, at one point, the sort of foreboding energy is swirling around you. Lynn kind of stops in her tracks and turns towards all of you. And as she does, and as you've been traveling with her, you do note something. Lynn has always had a sort of ambient glow to her. A scar across her face and her eyes. And somehow in this darkness, it almost pierces through. And it seems stronger than normal. And as she turns to look towards all of you, describe to me what your characters look like in silence. Otho, what do you look like in silence as you're trudging forward towards this dark place. Um, Otho's just got his palm resting on his saber. He's got one hand behind his back as he's walking. He's looking very poised as opposed to when she first met him, probably. Hmm. Kai, what does your face look like in silence? Very apprehensive, and she'll notice that his hand is gripping what seems to be the last scroll that he has. Milo, what does your face look like in silence? Very determined, furrow brow, and almost a pulsating light within his iris. Gaius, or, sorry, Iskan, what does your face look like in silence? Uh, he is attentive. He's looking around at all of the surroundings, and despite his track record, he's uh, a little bit calmer than he usually is in these sorts of situations. Gaius, what does your face look like in silence? 
lot less lax. The smile is now a break-even neutral expression. And oddly enough, for the first time, his ears are pointed up as he stares off into the distance, just waiting for something to happen. Lynn kind of slows her walk and she turns. Hi. He'll turn and look at her. Can I speak to you for a moment up here? <clears throat> uh, Kai is going to lower his head thinking that he did something wrong and he'll walk forward like the scolded school child to get his demerit. <laughs> okay. You run up and as the rest of you guys are behind, Lynn kind of keeping her pace, she looks towards you, Kai, and she goes, are you scared? Yeah. Can I confess something to you? Uh, sure. I'm scared, too. But... I, I don't understand. You've, you've done this before. You, it's just the next bead, right? The last bead. Like, it's... What, what's got you scared? You see her bottom jaw kind of tremble a bit, and she goes... I have a theory, and I'm hoping I'm wrong. But in doing right, I fear that I might learn something I might not want to know. And if it doesn't work, I don't know what else to do. Uh... Can you be more specific? What's your what's your theory? I cannot be more more specific, and I do not wish to share my theory, not unless it oh, okay. is the theory that I think it is. I respect you all for not prying. It can I hard. can I ask you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go on. Can Can I ask you just a, again? You don't have to answer, but can I just ask you a very straightforward question? Yes. So let's say we actually purify this bead and overcome all the odds and save Easton Vale. Regardless of what you think might happen, I just, I'm curious. Do you actually still want to be here? Or are you just tired and want to rest? I'm not supposed to be here, Kai. I'm taking someone else's time here. And it is not fair of me to do so. It is not that I wish to not be here. It is more that that is what is right. And the longer I persist in this form, the more I do wrong. And I have very little power over it. We're going to help you. All of us. No matter what happens when we do this. She looks behind her shoulder towards the rest of your companions who are walking with a sort of, like, determination. And she looks back towards you and she goes, You know, the five of you have given me something that I have not been able to find in my years of wandering here. And for that, I'm already truly grateful. You have given me hope. And I only can hope to repay you in kind. She puts a hand on your shoulder, Kai. I think you will. Let us be scared together. She squeezes your shoulder and then continues walking. Yeah. Kai's gonna follow her. As you guys continue to move, you begin to see in a darkened silhouette larger cities to the west and to the and and like just a slight semblance of one caught in the tremulous almost typhoon of darkened foggy wind lynn stands in the road and goes this way and she sweeps off towards off the road almost like a bloodhound tracking a scent you all follow mm -hmm. yep yep she knows where she's going you begin to follow her not through a forest but 
almost like what was probably once a greenery field of some kind. And as you move through, you begin to see crumbled stone and fallen walls. Just piles of rubble that were once structures of some kind, ancient and forgotten. And as you kind of vault over some of these structures, you then see what appears to be a round platform of stone with a large statue in the center of what appears to be a hooded individual, almost horrific in nature, that holds a massive scythe down, almost if sheathing some sort of wheat that is non-existent. Very almost, um, what are they called in Lord of the Rings? Like the ring wraiths a little bit, but like... The Nazgul. In a more priestly sort of way. And as Lynn walks up to the statue, she looks towards you all and goes, it is here that it shall be done. Do we have time to prepare? We should. We. You watch as Lynn, as Lynn says that, you immediately see all of her hair stand up on end. And who is taking up the rear, would you say, during this walk? It's usually Gaius, right? Yeah. Yep. Gaius, as you stand there, you watch as the grass under your feet just almost chars away. Like a wind has rustled it and it turns to almost a bluish gray color as a gasp of undead air just brushes over the grass. And Lynn turns you all and goes, prepare now quickly. And Lynn begins to pull out her candles and incense in a hurry and places them around this statue. All right, everyone get around here. Goyas, you come here. Puts a, puts a hand to your stomach because that's all he can reach. Oren's going to be watching over you. You get in there, you swing, you don't stop. And I'm giving you guys protection from good and evil. Hell yeah. And everyone else. Oren will not abandon me, won't abandon you, and won't abandon our quest. Have faith. And I'm going to cast aid uh, because it is not concentration. Um, for Gaius, myself, and Otho. You got it. So that oh is boy. five. So it's it's not temp HP. Your your max HP goes up by five, so you can heal up through it. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Give me a second. I'm gonna just write that down real quick. <laughs> that is a lot of my spell slots right there. So, yeehaw. And, five, and five, you say? by five and zito don't you dare forget undead demons a lot of things have disadvantage to hit you will do also money i didn't want to ruin the narrative but can i do the meal buff since i would yeah, have done that in the morning? absolutely yeah uh, i will give that to i'm gonna give that to gaius and kai and he's gonna look at, at, at <laughs> past tense uh kai i know you're kind of crazy but but don't do anything too rash okay Kai's got a very blank expression, and he doesn't seem to give you an indication one way or the other whether he acknowledges that. Cool. <laughs> All right, my buffs, my buffs are done. All right, you guys may place yourselves anywhere you wish inside of this box that I have placed <sighs> on the field. Can I be underneath the? Never mind, it's a dumb joke. <laughs> It is uh, worth noting that these ruins here are about five feet tall. Gotcha. Uh, so what about these provide... rocks to the south? Uh, the rocks would probably give you like one quarter cover. They're not as tall. Okay. Well, Kai took the best spot. <laughs> I'll just be here then. Anybody else have any other preparations <laughs> they wish to do? Uh, yes, I am. D mm. Despite having all these cool little like neat little buffs and everything, I am not going in with my great axe. I want to get that extra two AC, so I'm going in with it. a battle going in with a battle axe and a shield. You got it. And, <laughs> you pull out your shield and your battle axe. And I shall position my wacky self right over yonder. Actually uh, I am going to preemptively shift. You got it. <sighs> Tiger mode engaged. I'm uh, going to preemptively shit. Okay, good. Poop, poop yeah. engaged. One pound, one pound gone. One pound, one pound gone. gone. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. How much it takes. 
No, I'm we all hear a we all hear a thud. <laughs> Just a my, uh, neatly packed pellet. Milo's gonna feel his uh, father watching over him as he takes to the air, fifteen feet up. Okay. You take to the air, fifteen feet up, Milo. Mm -hmm. As you take to the air, you feel a force almost grab you and thrust you to the ground. Oh. I see it's gonna be like that then. You gain additional benefits, but your flight speed is removed, unfortunately. As uh, you the... watch the fog from the far off keep, Ooh. almost as if coming out on its own and forming into like a piercing spear, almost sweeps down yeah. in your direction. But as Lynn lights the final incense, it said it swirls around the space, completely encapsulating you all in this large, almost square like arena trying to reach in to stop you from what you're doing. Oh. And as you all kind of look around as this happens, you see in this black and gray fog, similar to the fog that you've had to breach through, though this one is dark like a thunderstorm. And you can see howling faces and glowing eyes kind of whip whipping through these sort of shroud in a horrible wailing visage. And it is then that you hear a voice approaching from the dark. I thought I warned you. You've all been so annoying, not listening, squandering my gifts. And now my undead are running around and chasing your wanted life. And you see breaching through the veil stumbling forward in a lurching manner, almost unnatural and puppeteered like this individual breaches the fog and stares you right in the face. Oh, let's go. You watch as a man lurches forward with tangled, greasy black hair. His face is dead and sallow. He holds in his hand a staff of almost a knotted burl wood with maggots falling out of it. And you watch as their head snaps backwards and emerging from their mouth comes this thing. And I'm just going to give a bit of a warning. If you're bug squeamish, you might not want to look at this. <laughs> as, hey, you, as you see worm tongue emerge from the veil. He has an actual worm. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh. Well, that's I pleasant. See. Hmm. I, didn't, I didn't realize what it a, was what literal. What a silly little guy. <laughs> you watch so why do you think they call him Worm Tongue? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you watch as he staggers forward and looks towards all of you and goes, you forced me to take a vessel of flesh and now i'm stifled all of this to swat away some unreasonable flies i don't get you lot you could have had everything and yet you spit in the face of necrecta's beautiful gifts so be it if this is how you fall then this is how you fall I would like everyone to roll initiative, please. Uh, Monty. Mm -hmm. I, I was gonna ask <gasps> if you could... Oh, nice. I was gonna ask if you could preemptively get me to 10 by 10. You got it. Thank you. Uh, two things really quick. One, I've got to go shotgun. Uh, <laughs> and two, Monty, did wow. you... Just, just for clarification, did you say I got added benefits because it took away my flight? No, you have your other benefits. Other benefits. So we okay, did it! Gotcha. Yes! <laughs> go. I'm gonna go Net shotgun. one on initiative! Let's go! Actually, no. I'll, I'll do my turn and then I'll go shotgun. Uh, <laughs> fuck! Wow, my initiative's not shit for once. It's a seven. God, the one fucking time. All right. You guys, it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good fight. I, I rolled a nat one for initiative, so we're gonna be fine. Alrighty. This is definitely going to go well. Yeah. I got a good feeling. It'll be just as this. easy as Vecna. <laughs> go ahead and go shotgun now, guy James. Okay. I'm writing down initiatives. So I will do. Very good time to do so. Wow. Can I also, change my location huge... to Gaius's shoulder? 
<laughs> you already chose. Um, also, huge shout out to Darky Arts for getting this artwork done, not only in a breakneck speed, but also in such a cool way. <laughs> and also in the middle of something else that I've got him working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so, initiative here. We have my I, I, get, I just want to point out the skull on the hood is a very nice touch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I <Yeah. saw> <laughs> a new tug! Sans! And a back. <laughs> Remember that fish sandwich so you ate last week? I was in it! <laughs> Hello, human! <laughs> Have you seen my brother? What I miss? They're making fun of him. <laughs> oh, you <know>? good. <laughs> we have to, Monty. It's the only way we can cope with the wait terror minute. of what we're about what, to encounter. What, what, what do, wait a minute. What do his pants look like? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's wearing Masking robes. You friend. actually can't see his pants. So. Ah, darn it. <laughs> Is he wearing a belt <laughs> over the robe? Uh, yes, he's wearing like a robe. Damn, we can't face. disrobe him, guys. Sorry. Damn, I can't pants the wizard. No. I'm gonna okay guys, I'm gonna laugh when we pants something that money throws at us and it's and like it's worse. <laughs> it's a hor like it's a horrible like waist down monster like a oh, there's, like another, or there's another worm tongue underneath, like it's just two kids in a trap. <laughs> oh my god, that is, that is so fucking oh my fear god. and hunger of you to say you just, oh. you just slowly pull the pants back up. No. <laughs> Never mind. It's a circus goblin with a carnival penis. Alrighty. At the I... start of the initiative order the veil takes a horrendous form as you watch worm tongue place their staff on the ground and you watch as the the worm part kind of goes back into the mouth and the jaw kind of clamps shut <sighs> sorry for a second OBS did something weird if we cut off his tongue maybe he can't cast spells but his tongue is what talks, so maybe it could still cast spells out of the mouth? I did say You watch me. as Wormtongue places his staff, kind of borrowing, boring up from the earth in the sort of... You watch a massive, as the namesake would say, worm burst from the earth and look towards you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and... I would like someone for me to roll for me a d4, please. I'll do it. Okay. A three. A three. All right. You watch as well, kind of stumbling out from the veil. One. Zombo. No. Zooms. Two. Zambonis. Three. Three. As three zombies <gasps> begin stumbling forward, that is the Veil's special layer effect. That will bring us to Milo. It is now your turn as initiative has been rolled. I'm going to get rid of your guys' box. Okay. No, not the box. No, ah! no, no it's my safety box. Is, so is Wormtongue just kind of hanging out standing there? Yeah, he is standing there. All right, um, action. Let's see here. Okay, I, I technically have full range then. Um, this zombie up top needs to make a <laughs> dex save uh, as I drop a sacred flame upon him. Dexterity save from the zombie. Yep, the zombie DC 14. A notoriously dexterous thing. That's yes. good for me. <laughs> oh, rolled really well though. Uh, nope, has a negative. Uh, that's going to be a 12. <laughs> All right, it takes five radiant damage. All righty, the zombie takes five radiant damage as it... <sighs> you blast off one of its arms, and it kind of staggers forward. Uh, okay, I didn't declare it, so never mind. Um, because I didn't, I didn't declare the uh, extra radiant damage for the form. That's okay, I will learn. Um, and then we're casting Spiritual Weapon... Right here between Worm Tongue and Worm, as you a uh, flaming flail pops into existence uh, with my bonus action, and we're you know we're just gonna clobber Worm Tongue with it. Plang. 
Oh, that auto rolls. Okay. Uh, 14? 14? Mm hmm. Sorry, one second. I just got to check something because he has a spell that he has on him. Majarmer. Uh, oh, worm. He is going to oh. cast shield and is going oh, to shit. block the attack as cool. he raises his hand and just shing, a shimmering shield blocks. Let's go. You're not going to stop it forever. Hey, I'm, I'm happy to take his reactions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm going to... No, I'm going to stay where I'm at. And that'll be turn. You got it. Oh, hey, Monty. Someone mm -hmm. just poked me and said that the music isn't working. Oh, no. Really? I hear it just fine. Hold on. That means it's on Wallfly's side. Okay. Give me one second. It's a funny Wallfly. Wake up, Wallfly. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Red bush, put a little Wake makeup. Up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> yes. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Wake up. You're going to have to give me a second here. I'm going to have to fix this. It's okay. Do, 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 do. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please. This would be stand a great by. time for you guys to run to the bathroom. Don't yep, forget to you, stretch well, your water. Dang, I just drink did your that. Legs. <laughs> Shotgun yourselves. Ha! Ha! Another, another ha! Ha! I lied. Don't go anywhere. Just take the top layer of, of, of porcelain off of your toilets. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh, <laughs> shit. Just right. ceramic breaking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should be back. Let me know if uh, that we lose the music again. I'm very sorry. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but for some reason on Roll20, if you have custom music, it, it acts up a little bit. I'm very sorry That's to lose weird. you guys. Lame. But we're back. Thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> All righty. Milo, that ends your turn. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Hmm. Worm seems like that's a very tricky target, and probably we should do something about that. So I, against my better judgment, because I seldom play fighter boys, yahoo. Alright, you run and charge towards the worm. Yes, oh worm indeed. I will go ahead and swing at the funny worm. All right. <laughs> Eleven. Sorry, one second. Uh, as you swing against the worm, it's almost meaty and fleshy. And as you pull out your weapon, it's almost like cutting into a layer of fat. As you kind of break your, uh, you bring your your weapon in and you pull it out. There's an almost mustardy, oily, waxy ooze on the outside of this particular worm-like creature that you actually kind of had to really rip your weapon out from as it <laughs> towards you and its head kind of like lurches and looks towards you. Cool, so that doesn't count as a hit, yeah? No, it did not hit, unfortunately. Cool, let me try again. Action surge. Action if surge, I'm, you got it. If I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna bleed that action surge, I'm gonna do it here because I want to do a setup or at least attempt to do one. Please hit better. 19! 19 hits as you cleave into this worm. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Well, this plus might giant's might. So six plus one. However, I also need the funny worm to uh, do, 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 do. I have to double check something. I have to see what uh, the target. Uh, oh, it must succeed a sang uh, strength saving throw. I needed to roll a strength saving throw. Because I am activating throw. my fire rune. You got it. Strength saving throw. This thing does look pretty strong. Oh, I'm I'm certain, but I have to at least attempt something. Uh, 17, unfortunately, on the saving throw there. Very well. As you cleave into this thing, and as its head is facing towards you, though, it is going to take its regurgitation reaction. Oh, fucking what now? It do a barf. You watch as... You strike into it in a defensive manner, it sprays a Icarus portion of its stomach fluid on you, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Is this thing undead? 
You don't uh, know. It'll it'll only protect you against charm, frighten, or possession. <laughs> okay. Or and then the uh, disadvantage on attacks. Very well. Fuck nine. Nine. You are poisoned. God. Damn it. All right. As you are covered in this like stomach fluid, you immediately feel sick yourself. Cool, that's turn. All right, that brings us to Worm Tongue. Worm Tongue kind of looks at the field, kind of like with these sunken undead eyes. And he watches <clears throat> the worm immediately lashes out like a tongue and then assesses the battlefield. And you see as Worm Tongue kind of looks towards all of you. Uh, let's see. He is going to cast Mirror Image on himself. Oh, you rat bastard. Mm. What a punk. No! He's, a, he's a wizard Harry. You watch as three copies of himself begin to fill the space. And he, as the worm, kind of looks towards the larger worm and goes, I shall handle this one. Kill the undead woman. And you watch as the worm kind of looks towards Lynn more. Worm tongue <laughs> is going to move. He moves very slowly, you notice. He hobbles. Uh, that was his action. And the worm, Gaius, yes. you are able to get a uh, reaction <laughs> hit on this thing. Very well. Oh! <laughs> 2016. That hits. Fuck yeah. 2016. 12. 12 damage, not bad. Oh my bad. god. Let's go. Get him, crunch it. I need to check something real fast. As it, tries, as it, tries it has to, like, exactly slither. 12 HP. As, as it tries <laughs> to slither away, I just like, like, guys, like, lifts off his giant fucking leg and just hoofs it right in the side. You watch as it leaves your combat space. It has no trouble climbing over these walls with its like, <gasps> multitude of, like, centipede like legs. It just kind of. Gross. <laughs> over top of uh, yeah that'll be its turn and then the zombies uh. this one charges towards you otho uh. and is going to go for a slam attack against you uh. sorry Jesus. Okay, zombies, calm down. Uh, no. That's going to be a 21 to hit. That hits. 21. You take <laughs> two points <laughs> of bludgeoning damage as he slaps you Ow. across the face. <laughs> Ow! Glad, glad to give you that extra. He just, knocks my, he just knocks my glasses off. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. Hey. <laughs> well, that was rude. This zombie charges you, Gaius, and is going to reach out to attack you. Okay. Reach Not out great. And That's you. a 14 to hit. No. Stupid. <laughs> this zombie comes up to essentially flank. Queens. Uh, 21 again. Okay. Fuck uh, off. Another two points of damage. Oh, wait. Money. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. Oh. Disadvantage, disadvantage. Let me roll again, though. Oh. Then it misses. It does miss with the disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Let me just double check. I'm gonna keep this roll, but I'm pretty sure if you're poisoned, it would have been a straight roll. I'm I don't. Gonna double check the that. Poison just fucks up my attacks. I think fuck it up. just fucks up you. Yeah. You yeah. can play yeah. this game for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you. Okay. So yeah, that is 100% a miss. As this zombie reaches out to attack you, Gaius, a flare of radiant energy almost wheels back its attack. And it is unable to find purchase. Okay. That ends Worm Tongue's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. All right, Big Wormo is is joined the fray. Um, has so I'm going to pull uh, I'm going to pull a dagger from my belt, and I'm going to fling it at the. Uh, would I have? Would I be able to see this zombie? Uh, unfortunately, the worm is blocking you. And what about this well. one? I would say he would have half cover. I see. 
Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I have three daggers. Why not? You got um, it. dagger throw at the lower zombie next to Gaius. <laughs> it's a natural one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll roll severity. Okay, it's a seven, so you just miss. As you throw the dagger, you miscalculate it, and it collides into the stone wall of these ruins. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this zombie, then look at this big thing, uh, this this big worm. I'm gonna watch it undulate, and then I'm gonna look at its legs, and uh, he's gonna say, "Uh, who's up? It'll probably be, it'll probably be guys." Um, or actually, no, um, I'll, I will look over to, uh, Iskian. Mr. Seat Lolly, its legs seem more brittle than its flesh. Aim for those. And I'm going to use my Master of Tactics to give him advantage on you attacks against the giant worm. And that will Wait, be my turn. The worm. A worm? I can't stop. <laughs> it's okay. Don't embrace stop. it. We don't want you to. You're doing I want, great. I want the worm to do stop. the worm. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to uh, for the tactic thing. Is that okay? This icon for you. Right. Yeah. Three, three swords. Okay. Works for does me. That end your, does that end your turn, Otho? It does end my turn. All right. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Oh boy. Um. Kai is going to look down at the single scroll that he has in his hand. Uh, he's going to pull out his rapier. He's going to look back to Milo, kind of wince a little bit, and then he's going to take off in a sprint. I'm going to use the disengage action uh, okay. to sprint through here and get right up in Wormtongue's face. You got it. You uh, charge up to Wormtongue. Uh, Kai's going to sprint up to him. Wormtongue! Uh, and he's going to pull out his sword. He's going to hold up that spell book. <laughs> Uh, and he's gonna say, oh god, we're going back here. Here's the old thing. Um, Faerun Valenthea! And he's going to attempt to cast Booming Blade and watch it sizzle as he used his action. Okay. Yep. You got and it. And he's then gonna look at Warm Tongue and be like, ha ah, ha, um, <laughs> it's on guard. And that'll be turned. I think the Raven had hope in you. Alrighty, that brings us to Eastcan. It is now your turn. I'm very upset that Kai is dead. Um, <laughs> He's got two Timbe tree. <laughs> oh, that'll save him. <laughs> uh, Eastcan is going to move over here. Shit. And uh, as uh, instructed by Otho, He's going to, in the process of moving over there, whip out Mira's staff and coming uh, to a stop, a skidding stop right in front of the worm, uh, he's going to cast Thunder Wave. Krakatoa! Krakatoa! I just want to mention it's a bass boost. Constitution saving throw? It's a vine boom. Yes. DC is 14. Ooh. This thing is meaty, but it rolled like shit. That is going to be a six. That is what? a failure. Oh, fail. It's no. meaty, but it rolled sheety. It's going to take sure eight thunder damage, and you know it those, will be pushed back 10 feet. You know those slow motion videos of a guy getting punched in the face? Yeah! Or like, just the one like, dropping into like a, like a, like a balloon? Like, like slapping like, a ham? <laughs> yeah. He's coughing. <laughs> it is like that as you jettison back this creature and it kind of skids and scrapes across the ruins with its legs and almost falls backwards before arriving back up to its like full senses. Uh, definitely hurt it. That was really good. Uh, so yeah, he's pushed back 10 feet and then uh, I'll finish my movement by stepping back next to Otho because I'm scared. And skilled. while stepping back, I will also notice... Kai off in the distance, uh, being Kai. Uh, and for my bonus action, I am going to activate my starry form. You got Archer. it. Archer. You got it. And I will do so on attacking Wormtongue. 
I don't All know right, why it just he... rolled damage. I think it needs to roll attack, right? It does need to roll the hit. Why did it do that? I try that. There we go. Uh, that's 14. a 14 to hit Worm Tongue. Once again, Worm Tongue <laughs> brings up the shield and it shatters against the shield. And uh, if he looks over, he'll see Iskan with uh, glowing goggles uh, kind of staring past the worm at Worm Tongue and kind of looking over at Otha very nervously about Kai's position. And that'll be turn. All righty. Top of the turn order. I need someone to roll for me a d6, please. Oh. I'll do it. All right, Milo, go ahead and roll a d6 for me, please. Oh, four. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry. How dare you? Oh, okay. Maybe uh, I should roll those if we're summoning enemies. Can you roll for me another d6, please? Oh, what? Oh. One! Oh, no. Yo. Hey. Huh. Maybe good? Uh, Good for you. Bad for Kai, as coming out of the veil, ripping forward, huh. comes a ghoul. Just like oh. shredding through the veil and <sighs> kind of smiling. And Wormtongue looks towards it and looks back towards you, Kai, and goes, Shame. <laughs> oh. That is the layer of the veil. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. Kai, you, you see the ghoul come tearing out of that fog, but coming from your left is that emblazoned flail coming in to just bash Wormtongue right in the side of the head. If you can move that up for me, Moni. You got it. And that will be my bonus Jetson, action. To... Jetson ship noises as it floats <laughs> over. <laughs> it's my favorite and... thing. Bonk! 20. 20 hits, even through his shield. Cool. Um... Will that roll? Okay, that will roll damage. Five! You Five did it! Five points of force damage. As you, <laughs> as this thing, like, as Wormtongue is looking towards you, uh, Kai, you watch as this off frame, a fucking, like, shovel-like mace just comes in and bashes him in the side, and his whole body actually, like, goes a whole 90-degree angles and almost topples over. But then you watch as, like, coming in and out of the robes and like you can almost see like moving and pulsing inside maggots just moving and kind of fixing the body back into place as worm kind of brought back up to his full posture and he goes that was annoying so that so question did that hit or did it hit one of his images oh right yeah run the i have to be that guy but you should have rolled no no that's fine that's the whole right, reason i'm right. doing that is to eat those images you were right. I completely forgot about my own ability on my own. No, you're enemy. good. It's a lot to keep in mind. The mages are hard. They are, yeah. All right, mirror image. Uh, let's see. I Roll a d20 to... to determine whether or not the spell hits one of the targets. If you have three, I think it's a twelve. Six or higher. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. If it's AC equals to ten, you're gonna hit anyway. Blah blah blah. All right. Uh, that was super close. It was a seven. Oh, oh shit. Oh. So unfortunately. The, just eats one of them. It eats, it eats up one of them, luckily, and he loses one of his mirror images. Okay, so that was bonus action. Uh, I'm going to get in front of... Well, no, I can't, because can't, we can't shoot your allies, collect, uh, correct? No, you cannot. Okay. Milo will bring up his right arm, light charges through his holy symbol, and bursts forth with a guiding bolt against the worm. You got it. Hiya. Yeah. Oh. Damn! You know Ooh. what? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? Well, I, I was, I was, I was gonna save this, Monty. Monty. Mm -hmm. Remember that guy that I helped, and you gave me inspiration. Yep. I'm doing it right now. All right, go ahead and do a reroll then. Re I need you right now. Do you kids at Please. home remember that guy he helped for inspiration? <laughs> it's finally no. paying off. Twenty <laughs> episodes farm later. Remembers. All right. Uh, let's see. Where was it? Shoot. Oh, there Come it is. on, Gaijin, you got it. <sighs> Dog, got in my hand! 22. 22. 22, that hits. Hey, it's a good shit, Gaijin. And this will be, this will be uh, shift form damage as well. Oh, Damn. 18, 18 points of radiant damage to the worm. Let's Give go. Give me a second to do some math here real fast. Yep. These need to count. 
a was... solid blast of radiant energy blasts this thing in its center, and it's almost like scraped off the top of the ruins. You watch as it kind of like grossly, like almost like a faucet, just spittles out this sort of Icarus mustard color like fluid, and it kind of kind of like reconstitutes itself. There's like a solid like divot in its side where this hit. Mm -hmm. It is still standing. It still seems like it has a decent amount of fight in it, but that definitely hurt it. Okay. And Good I call, I, Gaijin. Yeah, and I uh, just just to clarify, I'm throwing that plus three for that particular attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you got it. Um, that's turn. Alrighty, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn as you are being, uh, as you are being flanked by zombies. Allow that one zombo to get a reaction off me. You got it. At disadvantage. At disadvantage, you're right. You're right, correct. Hmm. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> Did it do? I, I, I fucking Mario backflip off his jaw. Bring? Mm -hmm. Wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Uh, okay. Let's go for Worm, because if I hit him, I have a plan. Oh, shit. One, two. 20, Damn. 22 hits. Come on, yes. Plus. Let's go, buddy. Two, so 13. 13 uh, points of damage, not bad. As Come you on. kind of backflip over and then just bring down the battle axe onto the back of this thing, kind of cutting its back up. I need to I... here. Okay. Oh. Alrighty, as you slash up against its back, it kind of, kind of like retches inwards, like squishes in. You know, when you touch like a worm, and it kind of like recoils inwards. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, bonus action grapple. You got it. Uh, competing athletics check for me, please. Oh sure shit! Wrestle the I get, worm. I get advantage Ooh. because of giant's might. Because so you're 22. big, yeah. Come at me, 22? worm. Twenty-two. It got a uh, it got a nineteen. Ooh. You grab it. if a worm had a throat, you would currently have it in like an arm lock. <gasps> it's like it's like a child hugging a stuffed animal too much, and like the stuffing in that section is being like sh like shot into two different. <laughs> oh, got that side headlock, baby. <laughs> As Gaius, you have this thing locked in a headlock, and it's like almost like a rodeo. It's trying to retch out of your grasp. Alrighty, and on the start of Wor we we re we did this before, right? On the start of Wormo's turn, I I uh deal you one do damage. damage. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, that ends your turn. Yep, that is turn. Alrighty, that brings us to Worm Tongue's turn. <laughs> Hmm. Sorry, I have a list I'm looking at here right now. That's not terrifying. Uh, you're messing with his worm. He doesn't like that. Worm. Most guys don't, you know? <laughs> Whoa. That's my worm. Worm. My worm. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's going to be this. Uh, looking at you, Worm Tongue. What? He's looking at you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's looking looking away. <laughs> My brain just had a rebooting. Uh, Worm Tongue kind of looks towards you, the corpse that it's occupying, kind of staggers and looks towards you, and then like almost like almost as someone is taking a finger to the corner of the mouth, like curls up into a smile as the hand thrusts out and a ray of green sickly energy, not too dissimilar to the current fog surrounding the battlefield sprays out towards uh, Gaius, which is going to be a ray of sickness attack. Uh, could you oh, shit. don't, maybe? Is, is, mm. is Wormtongue undead? Um, he's weird. Uh, technically, yes, <laughs> he would be. So, so we can see that. We're, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking for disadvantage. If yeah, not, I'm getting it, because he's a boss. From yeah, he's a boss, but I, I get it either way. Is it, can you click protection from good and evil for yes, me, just so I know I'm doing this right? hot second. Uh... I don't know if it's gonna matter because that's a really high roll. There we go. Uh, attack rolls against the target, which this would count. Uh, okay. So that's gonna be where's your spell? Oh Jesus! Spell attack bonus is huge. That is going to be a 
19 to hit, unfortunately. My one. Oh, oh. so sorry. Mm, that's all right. You're good. You got the five HP, buddy. Luckily, you're not going to be afflicted by the additional effect, uh, poison effect, but you are going to take some damage here. Okay. Uh, you take... I'm sorry, math. Nine points of poison damage as the ray strikes you on your back, Gaius, and you feel yourself almost stagger. That fucking scene from Samurai Jack where he takes a cut to the back and then stares at the guy who hit him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you next. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be here. Get Ty, his ass. You, you get an attack of opportunity. I do? Yeah, he's he's moving. Moving out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna take it. 17? Wow. 17 hits him. Let's go. Six. Six points of damage. You uh, what about his, what about his mirror image? Images. Right, his mirror image. That's right, he's got two yep. remaining. His mirror image. He has to roll above a... Tips Fedora. Mirror like image. a 10 or a 12. Uh, I believe it is... I think it's six. a 10. Uh, eight. It is eight or higher eight. for the second right. one. And the last one's probably 12 or 10. You shatter one of the images. Dang it! Cool, I'll take it. As he runs off. All right. It is now the enemy's turn. Ah. I gotta roll for worm real fast. Oh boy, okay. Wait. Uh, can I roll my damage? Yeah, 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 go for it. Three oh. There oh. we go. <laughs> Why do you little? Why are you it's little? Literally, it's like literally you at home listening. If you were to grab a pillow and just like, like just pull it as hard as you can and just like, you know, shove all of the stuffing from one side or the other. That is currently the image right now. <laughs> what, you've, you've never put a pillow in a half Nelson? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. The zombie here is going to attack you again. Uh, the, 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 Otho. Nice. Oh. Mabotho. Oh, that, that went on my keyboard. That does not count. Uh, you 12. Good. 12. That misses. It. That misses. Uh, the zombie to the left of you, Gaius, is going to attack you. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. With disadvantage. Good. That was a really high roll. And I rolled the exact same thing. That is going to be a soft 20 to hit. I rolled the same number. That twice. hits. I'm sorry. For fuck's sake, two. <laughs> two points <laughs> damage. Fucking, <laughs> oh. okay, these guys suck. Up to who? This zombie staggers forward and is going to do the same thing. Disadvantage. Uh, that is going to be a 12, which I believe misses. That will miss. Even with a plus two, that would still miss. All right. This ghoul. Oh, no. Immediately, almost scraping its claws against the ground, rushes towards you. Kai. I'm just going to get mm -hmm. out here. Blocking off the way towards Worm Tongue. Give me two seconds here. Uh, and it is going to make a claw attack against you. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. That is going to be a 15 to hit. That will miss. All right. As the thing bring down, brings down its claws, how do you block it? Uh, Kai is going to hold up his spell book and block the claw. <laughs> the claw rakes through some of the sheets of paper as it flies into the air and is absorbed by the swirling veil. Uh, oh, but it crap. does not find purchase Ugh. in your flesh. Worm tongue kind of scans, like, again, <laughs> comes out of the mouth and kind of scans the battlefield, almost very hmm. snake-like, and goes, Yes, yes, you're exactly how I drew you. A perfect replication. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, he's seeing, so proud of his art. Though seeing how you battle now, I feel as though I've drawn you in a more flattering means. And you, woman, you're so ungrateful. How dare you squander our gift. And you watch Ooh. as Lynn is performing the ritual, and you can see her brow twitch, but she focuses on the ritual. She tries not to listen. Hell yeah. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. 
Okay. Uh, I believe you. Believe you. Damn it. <laughs> we were Jump all on in that. the line. Uh, alrighty. Uh, oh boy. In this situation. Um. Also, since it's the start of my turn, my uh, Master of Tactics goes away. You got it? No! No! Um, I'm just gonna, um, hearing this sort of, now. hearing this sort of damage, uh, that, um, oh god. Uh, I would not be able to, to attack that ghoul. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out a way that I could throw a dagger at this ghoul. Um, would this work? I know it's sort of also going through his um, guys' space here. That's a really hard shot. I'm gonna say that's gonna be like three quarters cover, like a huge uh, cover bonus. Fuck it then. Because you're firing um, through a wall, an ally, and then the two zombies on the other side. I'm going to then. I will fling the dagger at the worm that is in Gaius's grip right now. You got it. Dagger number two. Is it turn you in? Turn you in. That hits. He's going to take a combined 12 piercing damage. Woo! My Snita. From your Snita. To my Snita. Does that include the dagger damage as well? Yeah, it does. Yes. You chuck a dagger at its thing and you bore a massive hole in the side of it. It's just like a like a faucet being turned on of this mustardy grossness just now pouring out of a hole, like a wound in the head, as it is looking like it is on its last legs. Um I'll I'll look at the ghoul and I'll look to uh Iskan. I'll fend off this zombie. My brother needs help. And I will use Master of Tactics to uh give the help action on this ghoul. You got it. <laughs> What's that? Oh no. That's my turn. <laughs> Alrighty. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Okay. Um, so first things first, uh, Kai is going to... Wait, hold on. What? The worm, I don't think, the, the worm didn't get its turn to attack, I just realized. Yeah, uh, like, I... you kind of like stopped midway after that's, you said... That's, that's right. right. So... We'll, get a ne we'll get a next time. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think we'll just, so. I think we should just finish this round and then let the worm go I, at the end yeah, of it you, all. You, you, you said like he was going to do something and then you said, oh, forget it. So I'm like, oh, I... I I don't know what to do, say about that. I'm just like, it's just the worm purpose. gives up. No, the worm does not, will not give up. It's grappled. It means it can still do stuff. I had to roll something for it. It can attack me with disadvantage. But... Yeah, it can attack you with disadvantage. Why would oh would the grapple give? No, the grapple doesn't give a disadvantage. No, it, it does. Is it it's undead? undead? It's not undead. Oh, uh, it's just regular worm. It's a yeah. beast. It's, oh, a, it's a monstrosity, actually. Oh, shit. Wait, that's three uh, but it, So if that's the case, if you guys are okay with it and consent to it, I'd like to go yeah. back and let the it have worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Have him, have him right. attack. I don't that's care. totally Sorry. fine. Sorry, Gaius. This is going to be against you. Uh -huh. As its mouth opens up and you see almost like alien style, a secondary inner mouth shoots out towards you with like serrated teeth. Oh, God. It's like that scene from fucking like King, King Kong. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, 17 to hit. That misses! All right, you bring up your shield and you watch as the teeth just latch onto your shield and almost like try and suck it off of your arm. Uh, but it does <laughs> miss. All righty, that brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Sorry, thank you guys so much for letting me go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, first things first, Kai's going to use the disengage action to get over here. Uh, directly in front of Warm Tongue, actually. Here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then, having done that, Kai is then going to hold out his hand towards the orb, uh, and he is going to say to Warm Tongue, "You know, the Stitch Sister sends her regards, and I'm going to teach you not to ignore me. And I really need this to work." Fairoom, 
Umbra! And as his voice cracks, he's going to start to pull from the orb what looks to be a dark, shadowy matter. And as it pulls out, and whether Lynn feels or sees this is completely up to you, Monty. But as he pulls it from the orb, it sucks its way towards his right hand. And he will begin to push it out with his left as it takes on a sword-like shape. And his eyes are as wide as can be as he realizes it worked. They then turn back to Grimtongue and he'll, or warm tongue rather. Hello. Uh, and he will take an <laughs> offensive posture uh, and he will say, I dare you to run now. And that'll be turn. All right, did you cast a spell? I sure did, that is Shadow Blade. You have a Shadow Blade in your hands. All right. My goodness. That brings us to Eskan, it is now your turn. Well, I wanted to help Kai. <laughs> <laughs> um. But, fuck. <laughs> oh, Genuinely, shit. I'm like, that like shit, really fuck. screwed up my whole plan. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I can do this then. Sorry, I just was not expecting Kai to just like run over there. Be a badass, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move over here. I should have full view of this guy, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna say he has like one quarter cover with his ally being right in front of him. If I move down one more, can I see him? You're good then, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will uh, hold out my left hand and uh, shoot an ice knife at him. You got it. Could you? Get twenty. Whoa. That's a soft twenty. Soft twenty absolutely hits. So he will take. Uh, six piercing damage, and then needs to make a dex saving throw or take seven cold damage. Also, right. uh, his ally uh, here, uh, who is within five feet of him, also needs to make uh, a dex saving throw or it will also take seven cold damage. Show you me how it. fast you are, zombie. Uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the ghoulish creature does seem pretty fast. Uh, not when it rolls a one, though. Uh, that is not the opposite of fast. That is, in fact, very slow. That's a three, or, uh, yeah, three. That's an absolute failure. Get his ass. So he's going to take 13 <laughs> points of damage. Give me one second just to calculate that. And then the zombie, you know, it could be a miracle. He might roll high. <laughs> no, it's it's not a miracle. He will never roll high. Uh, that's a four, which is a failure. So he takes yeah, the see. additional cold damage. Just the cold damage, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, sitting on a, he's sitting on a on a plastic chair, just Virgil's his way out. <laughs> <laughs> I am the storm man. <laughs> Bro, his mouth falls off. <laughs> <The pressure. laughs> Alrighty, the explosion of ice explodes over the battlefield, and you watch as the zombie gets hit with shrapnel, and the ghoul's arm is exploded, and almost kind of hangs and slaws off to the side. Definitely a heavy hit towards the both of them as they both. <gasps> I look towards you with malice. <laughs> well, he can look at my right hand, which is going to use my bonus action to do an archer attack on the ghoul again. You got it. Does this still have advantage, or is it only the first attack? Uh, uh, it's only I the first it attack. For It's like the, the help action. Yeah. That's what I was and asking. Also, yeah. is it specified that it can be on ranged attacks? Because usually the help action only gives advantage to melee attacks within... Uh, I, know you can give, I know you can give it at range, but I don't know if it's just for melee. Well, it'll. You can lend your aid to another creature in the completion of a task. Whenever you use the help action, the creature gains advantage on the next ability check it performs on the tent. Da -da -da. Uh, alternatively, you can aid a friendly creature attacking a creature within five feet of you. You faint, distract, or target the creature. Da -da. Your ally attacks the target before your next turn. The first attack roll made against it has advantage. So have, the creature have would have had five... to have been within five feet of you, so. No, that is incorrect. That's what you just said. No, if I'm within five feet of the target, I can use the help action on them. But because yes. I have Master of Tactics, that becomes 30 feet. It's 30 feet as a Master uh, of Tactics. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, I, so yeah. any the five, it, it, ability. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So if it specifies any attack mm. roll, then, then you would have, yeah, yeah. you would have. Normally, it doesn't matter normally when people... Yeah, normally when people use the help action, they have to be with, within five feet of the creature uh, yeah. that they're using the help action on. But because uh, I am that guy, uh, <laughs> I uh, and I'm built different, I get 30 feet. 
<laughs> All that to say that I don't have advantage on this attack. You do not, no. So, not this here one. Here we go. The first one you did. Ooh. That is a nine to hit. The ghoul. Nine to hit. As you fire on the ghoul, the ghoul strikes your shot out of the air and slams it into the ground, almost like a tennis court strike just Wait into the depth of the earth. Uh, you can't do that. It's, it's, it's holy blight. You, you're not... Uh, uh. <laughs> That'll be right. my turn. <laughs> All right. Top of the turn order, you watch as Wormtongue places his staff on the ground. I need someone to roll me a d6, please. Oh, I'll do all. it. Damn it all. Mark, I need your one. I'm I'm gonna give you one right here. I Boom. need you right oh. now. Six. <laughs> oh, you, why did you roll high on this? <laughs> Mark, why can't you suck when it's necessary? You watch <laughs> as piercing through the veil. One. Oh God. Two. This is getting ridiculous. Now there's two of them. Three. Three more zombies. <laughs> Stagger into the battlefields from the veil. This is fun. Milo, uh -huh. it is now your turn. Boy, oh boy. This is fun, kids. The uh, worm looks terrible, by the way. The worm currently in a grapple is in a very, very rough state. So From from the position, Monty, that uh, I, am, I am doing the arrows, does anything have full cover? Uh, from that position, I would say this zombie here would have full cover and this ghoul would have full cover. Okay. Cool. Milo's going to run to the side, thrust his palm into the air and shout out, Oren will not... Oren will not forgive... <laughs> forget us! God damn it. Um, This zombie, that zombie, the worm, that zombie, that zombie, and worm tongue all need to make con saves. You got it. Uh, Radiance of Dawn. Radiance of the Dawn. I'm going to do it in a sort of clockwise motion here. Yep. Just to make it easier on myself. And it's a con save, you said? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to actually roll for the worm first. Yep. Worm is exploded into light as the light shears off its flesh. Gaius, as the worm is distracted, you just grab the top of its head and just, like, twist it. And it just, like, rips off. Gross, it's in my mouth. <laughs> Zombie to the north here. Terrible, uh, but it's con is actually decent. That's gonna be a 12, which is still a failure. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll the damage for me, please, so that way I can calculate the damage. Great. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa in the bush over there are licking their chops. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, 13. <laughs> All right, zombie number one. Ladies and gentlemen, zombie number one. Zombie number one. Zombie number one is looking pretty rough now as the radiant light blasts over it. Uh, the other zombie <gasps> got thir thirteen, which I believe is a failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DC fourteen. You mean hurt team? <laughs> Ow. Gabby. <laughs> Owie. This zombie down here. Sorry, I just gotta do this calculating this one no, at a time good. here. Rolls really well a 20. Does he take no. half? Half. Half damage. It's half, so that would be 12 technically. That's the one I needed points. to get obliterated. He was supposed to be chosen for Smash! Uh, this zombie's behind total cover. The ghoul is behind total cover. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy technically is behind total cover, but. Gaius is grappling a worm. There's kind of some weird stuff going on there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go through. Okay. Sorry, uh, I'm just having a stroke up here. Ugh. Thirteen. Yeah. That fails. That fails. That zombie is obliterated. Ah. Alrighty. As you bring in your hand, the light searing back the enemies. The worms like almost hanging over the ruins now dead and spilling its guts uh that is that end your turn milo no you uh, just, i just want yeah i want to make sure that everything got resolved um is everything good yep cool flail's gonna go right for the back of the head worm tongue <laughs> wham uh like a mosquito at him. 
Oh. 25. Let's go. Let me roll for his last, mm -hmm. last friend here he's got. Uh, what's the amount here? I think it's nine. Right? I think it's 12. Oh, it's 11. Oh, even better. Mm -hmm. It hits him. Go and roll damage. Uh, and this will be with extra radiant. So five, six, seven, eight damage. Uh, five, four, three radiant. Five, four, three radiant. Mm -hmm. All right. As you blast and hit him for eight points of damage. You watch as, like, again, the body I described it before, like, actually cracks in half, almost. And you see in front of you, Kai, as, like, there's almost, like, a sort of gelatinous movement underneath the robes as maggots kind of reattach the body where it's supposed to be. And Wormtongue kind of, like, staggers and shakes their undead head. Definitely seem to have felt the brunt of that one. Would that break the uh, mirror image, potentially? Nope. Okay. Uh, I moved... 10. The spell God. ends when all three of the duplicates are destroyed. So when all three of those are hit. Oh, that's right. Destroyed. It wasn't concentration. That's right. Nope. It's not concentration. It's yeah. A... He does, he's not concentrating on a spell right now. Oh, boy. Um, I assume that this, I, I can't get in front of Lynn because of the statue, correct? Yes, that statue is occupying space. Okay. Uh, You know what? I'm actually going to come over here instead. Cause you got it. I don't like that north boy. Okay, I'm good. Sorry, that took Gaius. forever. North Guys, boy. It is now your turn. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, there's a ghoul right there. Wouldn't it be there cool? is. Splat. Wouldn't it, Wouldn't it be funny if he could splat? It's yeah, cool, guy! Yeah. It's cool, guy! Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. Cool. I'm so sorry. As you go to swing, the ghoul ducks underneath the sweep of your blade. Let me double check something. Uh... Revolt. Oh, that's a wrong rune. Mm, this would not work on this thing. So, unfortunately, that is turn. All right. As you stagger from the poison, you unfortunately aren't able to find purchase in the ghoul's flesh. All righty. That, that ends your turn, guys. Yep. You're a little quiet, Zito. Do you mind getting just a little closer to your microphone? Sorry. I just want to make sure I hear you because I don't want to miss out oh, on anything. I've been told that I'm being quiet, so I am now ready. <laughs> <laughs> This Yo, is that Christopher word. Zito ASMR from the Mario movie? Used his whole name, oh, from. Oh, damn. It will be really unfortunate if my decibels on my own voice went high right about now. <laughs> it would be really unfortunate. Right. I hope, I hope it no would. one's wearing really expensive headphones right now. I'm actually wearing really expensive headphones. Please don't. It is now, <laughs> it is now Worm Tongue's turn. <laughs> Alrighty. May I ask a question of everybody in the room right now? You may. Who here is missing all their HP? Or not all their HP, but <laughs> missing their maximum HP? Me. I'm so I max. I am not. I have only I'm lost max. temporary HP. I am okay. also at max. Alrighty. That brings us to Wormtongue's turn. Wormtongue looks towards you, Kai, and kind of cocks oh. their head. And you watch as they raise up their hand towards you, and you watch as crawling out of their robes and now crawling all over you is just worms yeah. that immediately begin to <laughs> bite and fester on you. I need to make Ow. a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, Eight. Eight. That is a failure you take. You cast power worm kill. Six points of poison damage as the Ow. the insects bite at you in a very aggressive manner. And I need you to roll me a d4. One is okay. north. Two is going to be east. Three <laughs> is south. North. No, north. All right. You move one tile north. As you kind cool. of essentially just kind of stagger with the bugs biting you. Yeah. And inside of like the chest cavity of worm tongue, you're... <laughs> <laughs> all righty let's see i'm gonna do this clockwise ah uh, the zombie is gonna attack you otho again okay okay uh that is going to be a 17 to hit that hits oh my god they rolled so good holy shit i'm very happy for you <laughs> i'm sorry 
You were uh, so excited and then immediately realized you couldn't celebrate too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as this zombie Ow. clocks you square across the face. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, yeah, I I, I, I I, couldn't help it. He was going to get through either way. This zombie is going to swing on Lin. Why? The zombie is not going to swing on Lin. He Thank rolled you. very shit. He rolled a seven. So get as he here, swings Zambo. towards Lin, Lin kind of just like shoulders the attack and does not take any damage. This zombie, Eskin, charges you. Ah. Uh. 17 to hit. That most definitely hits. Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage to you. Ow. That's actually a lot. <laughs> uh, this zombie is going to... Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I'm, just think I'm just thinking here. Yeah, this zombie is going to attack you, Gaius. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that is going to be a... Oh, right, disadvantage. Uh, that's going to be a 12 to hit. Nope. Misses. You get an attack of opportunity off of the ghoul. Okay. Up, up, ba -dee, ba -ba 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 -da, ba -ba -da. That's a one. All right. I rolled a nine. You just miss as the ghoul all of a sudden, almost if unnaturally, sweeps away from you and charges and is going to flank with Worm Tongue and is going to attack you, Kai. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, this is both. That's going to be a soft, actually, 22 to hit with flanking. Yeah, that'll hit. I need a con save, please. Okay. Seven. Seven. You are paralyzed. Ow. You also take seven points of slashing oh. damage. <laughs> and you are, your body seizes up. You are now paralyzed. Oh, Jesus. The last zombie is going to charge you, Gaius, and is All going right. to attack you with disadvantage. Actually, yeah, disadvantage. Yep. But plus two because it's flanking, so. Yes. No, does not matter at all. <laughs> it's not going to hit. That is an eight. All right. All right, that ends the enemy's turn. Otho, it is now your turn as you see this creature now sweep around and strike across the back of Kai. But you also I notice behind you, Otho, a zombie harrying Lin. His eyes rapidly dart all over the battlefield, and with a cold, calculating glance, uh, he will backstep away from this zombie, allowing an attack of opportunity. You got it? Nope, not at all. That's going to be another right. eight, actually. Uh, that will not hit. I'm going to... Strike my saber at this zombie. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I don't get flanking technically. You do technically get flanking from Lin. Sweet. Yeehaw. Righteous. Bogus. 18. That hits. For 14 slashing oh, damage. Oh my lord. You immediately sweep around and just slash off the zombie's head as it collapses to the ground, unmoving. I will, uh... Yeah, I will turn to face towards the other zombie. I'll, I'll move... I'll move to occupy Lin's space as well, just to try and prevent the zombie from, uh... Actually, you know what? I will actually get back in its business, so it, it can't move past me. You got um, it. Um, and... Uh, Otho will look once again to, to the ghoul. That thing is dangerous! Remember its claws! And, uh, Master of Tactics, help action once again. You got it. Uh, I'm gonna say when you, when you run back and you see it, I'll say, because, like, technically you can't really see it through that space, but, yeah, it's all good. All right. Master Jeez. of Tactics on the ghoul. 
And that was for E-Skin specifically? Yeah. Yeah, it okay. was for E-Skin. Okay. It's just because he's up next. All righty. Otho, that ends your turn. Yep. Hi. Yep. As you stand there tense, you watch as emerging from the mouth, worm tongue comes out and leans towards you into your ear and goes, I figured that someone should tell you this. The reason Eastendale is the way that it is, is all her fault. And he points towards Lynn. But she probably didn't tell you that, did she? Of course she didn't. He kind of pats you twice on the cheek and then thrusts his hands out towards his minions. Um, Kai, I would like you to repeat your constitution saving throw for me, please. Got it. Uh, natural one. You are still paralyzed as you try and break free of the paralysis. E scan, it is now your turn. <sighs> um, will you allow me? I, I cannot remember, me, Mark, above came, cannot remember if the ghouls were the ones that absorbed radiant damage. They are not. No. Okay. It was it was the centipede dogs. Those things okay. that look like okay. hounds. They absorb radiant. Weirdo damage. dogs. Thank you. That they still took damage, but it gave them a little bonus if you hit mm. them with radiant damage. Um, while trying to avoid the uh, zombie that is attacking him, uh, Eskin's gonna look over and see uh, the murder sandwich that Kai has gotten himself into, uh, using uh, not Lin, Mira's staff. <laughs> Uh, using Lin's staff that I somehow have now. Um, it's a show. Mine now. Mine yeah. Now. <laughs> uh, using Mira's staff, uh, he's going to hold it horizontally in front of him in the direction of the uh, ghoul. Sorry, my brain is like literally shutting down while I'm trying my, to talk. I'm right there with you, buddy. I can't even <laughs> talk tonight. I it, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, and uh, the light in his eyes is going to glow. Uh, just a little bit more brightly as a pillar of light will come down onto the ghoul from above. I'm going to cast Moonbeam on it. Okay. Woo. Holy shit. Well, that's interesting. Uh, DC 14 Constitution Saving Throw. Constitution Saving Throw. Two. It rolled a two. Amazing. So it absolutely fails. So it takes 11 radiant damage. Oh, actually... I think it only takes that damage at the start of its turn. You want to click the spell? Just so we can read it. I know Moonbeam is kind of weirdly worded. Yeah. Uh, so the spell ends when a creature enters the spell for the first time on its turn, or it starts its turn there. It is engulfing those. For the first the time on a turn, or. Uh, uh, when it enters on a, on a turn, or yeah. starts its turn in there. So we'll. We'll carry this over to its turn, and we'll just okay. apply the damage. I'm going to put in brackets that it'll take 11 days. Because we already did all the rolls, so we yeah. might as well keep it. But yeah. All right. The boom beam blasts out. So we'll see if that, what that does. And for my bonus action. Um, uh, I'll just, just have to starry form the dude in front of me. All right. Is this, um, is, this a, is this a ranged spell attack or a ranged it, attack? It is. Mm, that's a great question. I believe because uh, you are filing in the melee, so it would be with disadvantage. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Ranged spell attack. So I will roll, yeah. so uh, roll again? another D. Yeah, I'll just ignore the damage. It's going to roll the damage again. But. Okay, hmm. does not matter. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, he's taking a whole five radiant damage. Five radiant damage as you blast him in the face, almost like a shotgun to the face. It staggers backwards, its center kind of spilling out of itself, and the zombie still has some fight in it. Dang it! Zombo took so much damage! Go away! I don't like you! And now I'm in danger because I can't move. Uh... Fall. All right, that brings us to top of the turn order. Someone roll me a d6, please. I'll do it. Uh, oh, it's another six. 
go. God damn it. <gasps> blue square. Blue square. Blue. blue. <laughs> I One. cast blue. Two. Oh, also, it's a five foot radius, so I believe it's only on the. A funny ghoulman. On the ghoul. Oh, it is on a funny ghoulman. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You watch as three more zombies stagger in from the veil. One of them has like a squirrel in its mouth. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Alrighty. Milo, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Uh, first of all, bonus action. The flail is going to swing right down, right on the you same target. Clong. Clong. Ooh, 13? 13. Uh, one second. I'm just going to double check this here. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, it, it does... Wait, hold on. Sorry. One second. Oh, you're fine. Sorry, I'm just mm. checking. Oh, I need casting. Uh, uh, oh, it's Worm Tongue want to use. Yeah, fuck it. Worm Tongue is going to use another shield spell and just block the attack. Cool. Spending right. his reaction to do so. As I thought. Um, do I have line of sight to him? <laughs> Fool. Uh, yeah, you do. I'd say you, you, you do. You technically kind of have high there, but I won't apply cover. It's not a big enough amount. Okay, you know what? Actually, I can do that. Um, he needs to give me a deck save. Dexterity saving throw, you got it. Mm -hmm. Uh, eight. Cool, uh, he takes six radiant damage. Six radiant damage, you got it. As an explosion of radiant light kind of pulses at his core and you watch as the as the body kind of staggers you know the bug guy in uh men in black like oh, the, yeah. the bug that's like in the guy's body it very much moves like that gotcha um i'm gonna get in front of lynn and yeah i'm gonna call turn all righty gaius it is now your turn also uh... so sorry monty um uh, Moonbeam is a two by two. <laughs> you were right the first time. I was right. I thought I was. Yeah, because yeah, radius, were... radius versus diameter. Yeah, I got confuzzled. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can get it on the zombie too. That's what I thought. Yeah. You yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> snap! Double zombo. Uh, go ahead and have both the zombies attack me. You got it. Disadvantage. First, first zombie disadvantage. Thank God, has disadvantage. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh no! I'll roll severity. Okay, as he's chasing after you, this zombie falls to the ground prone after trying to chase after you. <laughs> hey, 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 I'll take it. <laughs> this nice. zombie Slow his ass here. Down. Disadvantage. Oh, he's not gonna hit. Yeah, he just just doesn't hit you. He just reaches out slowly as you kind of vault over the wall right. there. Uh, some damage needs to be done, even if I don't hit it. So I'm switching to my great axe. Alrighty. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! That's ten. Wow. Wait, you're ten. Yeah, ten. Poison. Flanking. Yeah, the poison. Unfortunately, it does not hit as you go to swing oh, and the ghoul oh, dodges oh, out of the way. Damn it. Ugh. Don't worry about it, dude. It's just We're the rule. We got okay, it. You're it's good. Okay. Alrighty. You have anything you want to do for your bonus action? What else do I have? I can't do anything else. Okay. All right, that ends Gaius's turn. It is now Worm Tongue's turn. Worm. Worm. Oh, right. Worm. Uh, start of the turn. Does Moonbeam go off? Uh, we'll get to that here. Because uh, Worm Tongue is going to hold his turn off until something happens. Uh, what a so. Uh, all right. So the ghoul takes eleven points of radiant damage. Hmm. Its flesh is sheared, but it is still standing. The zombie also no needs to make the con save. It was a con save, correct? Yes. 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 A zombie con save. Oh, does he take half on a save? Uh, yes. OK, 
Okay, so the zombie takes uh, five points of damage. It does save. Also, if any of them are shape changers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop being secretly aware. A lycanthropic ghoul? I don't even want to think about it. I have a legally healthy. The ghoul is just Rebu, and it's just like, oh shit. Okay, listen, I, I got, I got, I've got like three jobs. I'm sorry. I've been undercover for years, guys. You don't even know. Unfortunately, though, the ghoul is alive, and it is going to go for an attack against you, Kai, and you are paralyzed. Yep. Which means that if this hits, it will be a critical hit automatically. Yep. That is going to be... Nope, that is the other one. Ghoul. That is going to be a 24 to hit you. Yeah. All right, this is an auto crit. Cool. Okay. You take 10 points of slashing damage on the crit. Okay. Are you still up? I am. Okay. Barely. The zombie is oh, going to do the oh, same thing. For fuck's sake. Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit you, Kai. That'll hit. That is also a crit. Cool. Ghouls do not fuck around. I'm very no. sorry. That's why I'm terrified of them. You take an additional seven points of bludgeoning damage. Now he's down. Kai falls to the ground, and as he does, Wormtongue's held action goes off. As you watch, the body of Wormtongue just slump to the ground as if the strings have been cut, and you watch as that worm-like form is now creeping towards Kai and his mouth. Oh. And you hear him say, this one will make a most poetic host. That is his turn to dislodge from his host. Alrighty. Zombie boy is going to use half of his movement to get back up. And he's going to use the rest to stagger. I'm going to move the worm back on the GM layer so we can just see the wall here. He gets that far. This zombie... Go. This zombie dashes here with its friend. This zombie here, Otho is going to attack you. This zombie is not going to attack you. That is a 10. This zombie is going to flank. Fucking same roll, misses. Uh, this zombie here is going to flank you, E-Scan. Uh, it's going to be a 12 to hit you. That will miss. Okay. And then the zombie to the south of you also is going to miss. Uh, that ends the enemy's turn. It's worth pointing out that Wormtongue is currently in a different state. His token is going to remain the same, but he is now in, in his essentially his true state. Is he considered tiny? He is considered, yeah, he's considered tiny right now okay. in terms of size. Alrighty. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Um... Indeed, it is my turn. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> um. Otho is going to cunning action disengage. You got it. And he is going to strike at the school. You got it. With a saber. It's a 21. 21 hits. 
for 17 slashing damage. Sure enough, you see your brother down on the ground, Wormtongue slowly creeping his way forward, and you just drive your saber down the neck of this ghoul as it crumples into the ground. Uh... I don't have much movement left. I... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna five foot step over near Kai just to you got give it. enemies another another thing to look at. All right. That brings us to Kai. I need a death saving throw, please. All right. Oh boy. Death save. Thirteen. That is a success. Eastcan, it is now your turn. Can I see Worm Tongue from here? You can, yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to use one of my charges of Guiding Bolt. Okay. On Worm Tongue. Woo! 25 that is a 25 hit. to hit for, unfortunately, only 11 radiant damage. Only 11 radiant. Oh Luckily, I mean, it's 4d6. Like. Because, because he ditched his body, he no longer has the effects of mirror image because that was on mm. his host. So that does hit, and he takes 11 points of damage. As you blast his insectoid-like form, you hear a horrible shrill shriek as the radiant damage starts to eat at this creature. And you can almost hear this pathetic whining and wailing from Worm Tongue as he like kind of coils inwards and then like detaches and almost has to reconstitute himself with his like long sort of tail. He's almost earwig like at the end, almost coming to like a point, like a like a silverfish. Mm. And like it like lobster like almost. And he kind of curls in and then like reconstitutes himself and kind of snarls. Um Iskan's gonna shout over his shoulder. Milo, Kai is down! And I'm gonna have to handle these Zombos next to me or attack Wormtongue again. And I think I'm gonna just starry form Wormtongue again. You got it. <laughs> 17 hits. That'll be seven, seven more damage. radiant damage. You got it. You blast him again, and he almost bounces across the ground, and he kind of skitters back up to its legs and goes, Do not deny me the newest flesh I've seen in years. And he kind of begins his crawl towards Kai. I probably can't respond, so I'll just end my turn. You got it. Top of the turn order. I need someone to roll me a d6, please. Who hasn't done back? it yet? Are we back up to Bosco, me? but he's unconscious, oh. so... <laughs> Uh, six? Yeah. D6. 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 Yeah. Three. Yeah, middle. Okay. Five ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> Eight more worm tongues show up. Eleven banshees. Eleven banshees. Yeah, that's a running gag for Frostmaiden. You watch as another ghoul bursts Damn out it. of the mist. All right, Milo, it is now your turn. Oh my god, all right. <sighs> um, I have an above game question real quick. Go for Ooh. it. I need moment. Who has the staff that we all fused ourselves, uh, we all attuned to? Lynn has it. Ah. Uh. <sighs> all right, screw it. Um. My, uh, where's, okay. Um, worm tongue in his worm tongue form needs to give me a deck save. What's 
dexterity saving throw, you got it. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a 17, unfortunately. All right, nothing happens. Um, Milo's just gonna shout out, call you fool, just get up! And healing word. You got it. For six. Woo. For six. And I will wedge. Can you can you move that zombie corpse in front of Lynn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. I'll just give me one second. I'm just marking down that. Just kick him out of the way. <laughs> um. I, I'll be real with y'all. I can only block one side, so I'm gonna block the one that has the most zambimbos. So yeah. you got it. All right. Alrighty, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. It'd be fun if I could hit something. Uh... God damn, I don't know what to do. Uh... That I will point thing. out that what? Worm Tongue is glowing. You yeah, hit it though. Yeah. Yeah, but he I, hit it with he hit it with guiding bolts. So the next attack will have advantage. But didn't he attack with with Sarge Oh from right, you did attack. Does with that your... actually count as an attack? It does. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah, oh, it's the first fuck. attack. Yeah. Well, then I should have had advantage on that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Sorry. Well, nah, Do you want to just roll again just to see if you got a crit? It would be really funny. Come uh, on, buddy. Just in case. It'd be really funny. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. No. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Cool. So my initial response is to go attack Worm Tongue, but I can't hit anything worth dick. And also, that ghoul is going to flank Lin really good and hard if I don't step in the fight. Fuck. I will also point out, Worm Tongue is, Worm Tongue's turn is after yours. Yeah, exactly. Uh, though Kai is up because he just got healed for six, so... I have three options, and all of them I don't know what to pick. Good encounter, Monty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's... No, no, I'm not sarcastic. This is whew. Listen, Worm Tongue saw like Kai's body and was like, "It's free real estate." <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> refresh me. If this thing hits Lynn, we basically have to do this all the fuck over again. She has to do a constitution saving throw and has to start from the beginning for the for the turns, yeah. God. Fuck, damn it. Uh... uh can I see Worm Tongue over Kai? Since I'm ten, you can. Yeah, he's currently on Kai's chest, like crawling up up his leg, heading towards his mouth. Can I fucking throw my hand axe at him? Yeah, offhand, go for it. Because now I'm fucking scared. I'm gonna roll in that one and hit Kai. Uh, and I'm gonna assume I can't. Well, actually, if I hit him, I'm not sure if I could do stone uh, stone rune on him. Fuck. Uh, where is it? I'm, I'm losing myself. Here we go. You're okay. You're okay. 14. 14 hits. When he's out oh. of a body, his AC is reduced to nine. Ooh. So mm. nine slashing plus five. So 14. How do you want to kill Worm Tongue? Let's go. I want him to attempt to dive into Kai's mouth, to which it just, you hear a, a, a nice meaty cut, and his body slumps in half as the axe goes right through him and into the floor. You watch as he excitedly almost rears up, ready to, and, and Kai, as you wake up and look out, you see the insect form of Worm Tongue currently staring at you like a person about to enjoy a massive feast, and your heart palpitates. And before this creature can enter your mouth, you watch as an axe from a distance slices this thing's head in two. And you watch his worm tongue, his entire body tenses. And you hear him slump to the side and he goes, Fools, you've doomed yourself. And his body curls in like a dead insect. 
cool. Movement action. Fucking, oh, wait, no. Wait, do I, hold on, where am I? Uh, I'm over here, so. One, two, no, sorry. A big, big. So, you're good, you're good. You're forge. Good. Yeah. Lord. One, two. I have 35. I can actually, if I, if I go one, sorry, hold on. One, damn it. One, two, three, four, five. I can, I can literally stop him. Let the zombie hit me. You got it. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. That disadvantage is playing dividends because that is going to be a miss. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Protection for good and evil is like kind it's of a awesome. great spell for. Kind of one. really nice. Yeah. Yep. Wait, I have I have thirty five, so I'm going to move right the fuck in front of him. <laughs> you got it. You were just barely showing up on the overlay, <laughs> which is like I'm look, looking over. And I'm like, cool, awesome. Like an ear. Wait, and Gaius is here. What did it technically mean that I could actually f myself just a little bit out because I'm ten feet? <laughs> You were technically that you would that would place you in the veil, and trust me, you do not want to be in the veil. Oh no right no no! Now. I'm not saying I want to do that. I'm just saying that's a possibility because I'm ten by ten. Technically yes, but you also don't want to have any part of yourself in the veil. No, I do not. Uh, so because I did a funny attack, can I bonus action grapple? The ghoul? Yeah, go for it. Yes. Yeah, so I need a competing yeah. athletics. Thirteen. A uh, nine, yeah, you grapple him. Cool. So I, I have, I have the ghoul in a grapple. You got it. Alrighty, that ends Gaius's turn. Worm tongue is gone. <laughs> Kai and Otho, as you guys kind of stagger up and look at him, like just fizzling away, you watch as almost like, uh, almost like a similar fog to the veil begins to almost erupt on his body, as if caught a flame, and you watch as his form just smolders and vanishes. Monty? Mm-hmm? Would you like me to roll moonlight damage? Yes, please. As the zombie that's standing behind Kai is still in the moonlight. It takes a con, con save, right? Okay. Moon! Uh, 12. That will fail. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh! Two! Oh! Oh! Sweet! Can we can we just spiritually add those to the natural one counter because that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie had some hairs left. Now it doesn't anymore, and it like ooh, ooh, it like pats its head where its hairs once were. Dead, Mister. No, I'll never be pretty. <laughs> uh, however, the zombie is going to attack. Well, it is dumb. I'm gonna roll a D4. One, two. It'll be Kai. Three, four, it'll be Otho, because they're no longer being commanded by Worm Tongue, so now they're not smart anymore. I like that line. Well, it is dumb. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, it's going to go for you, Otho. Kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, it's not going to go for you, Otho. That's an eight. Yeah, I just, I just with, with the hilt of my saber, just punch it in the forehead. This zombie is going to charge you, Milo. All right. Natural <laughs> 20. Oh no! I should have called flashbang. I'm not awake. Sorry. It's fine. You can do it on the next one though. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be six points of bludgeoning damage to oh, you that's... as this zombie clocks you on the face. That's that's super fine. The second um, zombie. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta make a con save. Oh, right, right, right. For protection from good and evil. Con. Ooh. I don't, I think seven. that goes down. Yeah, yeah it does. Protection. Protection from good and evil is now gone. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh no. All right, now I will flashbang this next one. All right, to disadvantage. Oh, uh, that is going to be a five, which misses with the flashbang. Mm -hmm. All righty. I believe. Oh, we have. Nope, we have the ghoul next to Gaius. The ghoul next no, to we don't. Gaius. You can't Wait. see him. He's Hold off. On. He's off the screen. Twenty-four. Oh yeah, one d four for him. One. <laughs> you, you punch. You punch him in the face. I poke him in the. I. I. I curly Joe him with my two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is gonna try and make a claw attack against you. All right. Uh, it rolled really well. I'm very sorry. That is going to be a soft twenty to hit. Yeah, that hits. I need a con save from you. Okay. E where I lost my page. Bip, 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 bip. Here we go. 18. Hey. Nice. You are totally fine. Uh, you take 
five points of slashing damage to your chest, though. Ow. The zombie to the north of you, Eskan, is going to swing. It's another natural 20. Oh, great. It's like Worm Tongue held them back. I guess. They're like, hooray, now we can unionize. <laughs> <laughs> a union of zombies. A union Buster Worm Tongue. Uh, you take five <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage on the crit. Okay. <sighs> the second zombie, uh, even with the plus two, is going to miss with a 12, I believe, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. I am, I, did, I, you know that fucking meme of the guy who like has his hand to his fucking like temples and he's looking at it, a fifth of vodka and just like sweating, like contemplating life. That's me <laughs> after that fucking last turn right now. Yeah, that was fucking scary because you do not want Worm Tongue to go inside of you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Crazy? So, I mean, there's no other way to phrase it, Mark. Mm. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You could say possess you. Yeah. yeah. Commandeer okay. your body. Possession is a different thing than what that would have been. Hijack anyway. your body, yeah. Get into the okay. pilot seat. I'm going to slash my saber at the zombie directly in front of Kai. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, seven? Seven? unfortunately misses as you go to swing the zombie backhands your knife and is like weeping about its lost hair holy fuck <laughs> not right now i'm dealing with a midlife crisis i'm uh, stressed <laughs> then uh then for flavor otho is going to hold his hand out to lift kai up off the ground on your feet brother you're not done yet say I'll say you can use half your movement to help your brother out of prone if you'd like. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll grab Kai's arm and I'll drag him to his feet. Kai, do you consent to being dragged to your feet? Yes, please. You are pulled up to your feet by your brother. Clever trick with that blade. Let's see if you can use it. And I'm going to point at the zombie directly in front of both of us and give you Master of Tactics. Master of Tactics deployed. Nuclear right, launch detected. <laughs> Otho, does that end your turn? It sure does. All right, Kai, it is now your turn. Mm, that changes what I'm going to do. Um... Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Wait, no, I'm not. They didn't hit me. No, yes, he did. I need to do concentration for Moonbeam. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, is that, that's so a much. saving throw, right? Con save, yeah. It's a 20. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a con saving. It's a saving throw for con. Ooh, unfortunately. Uh, nine. Ooh. So Moonbeam is done. God. <clears throat> well. Alrighty, uh, Kai. My turn? Yeah, it's okay. still your turn. Um, Kai is going to look at the zombie in front of them and then look to... Milo in the back, basically defending everybody by himself. Uh, and he's going to go, I've made a mess of this enough. I need to help Milo. And con lead him! And he's going to try to once again call on whatever that power was. And he's going to cast Shatter uh, right okay. in the middle of those three zombies in the back. You got it. Um, oh, boom. God. For well, 15 that damage, they get a DC Holy 13 shit. save. One second, I dropped my dice. No one make fun of me. They're Which just trying to go for adventure, Maki. All right, this zombie here. Mm. Yep, it's the one to the left and the two by Milo. 11, so that is a failure. That's a failure, it's 15. Oh, lordy lord, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Zombo man. number one, though. Just straight up explodes like a video game <laughs> gore explosion. <laughs> you get a terminal montage cartoon. Just a real The legend basically. continues. Terrible. Fuck. They have a decent con. Uh, that's a 10 on the last one, so it That'll also fail. takes 15 points of damage. As an explosion rings out, everyone's ears ring as a shrapnel of gore splatters across the statue that Lynn is praying to. She really keeps her focus as she is also splattered by some of the gore, but stays focused on the task at hand. Splort. Uh, I can't offhand attack after a spell, correct? 
Yeah, you can. I, I have the rule oh. where you can offhand attack. Then I'm gonna dagger the one in front of me. You got it. You have, you advantage have advantage. Your brother. Yep. Let's go. Uh. Okay. Wait. You have advantage. Nine. Oh. Nine. Hey. Guess you what? what? Nine is exactly its AC. Let <laughs> so you hit. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. Zombies are not well armored. Six. Wow. Yeah, techni technically, it's gonna be three because you don't get your offhand. You don't. Oh get your, right. All right. Uh, I'll take bonus. three. So it's three points of damage. It was hit by Moonbeam, so. Oh, you stab it in the eye socket and it staggers backwards. Well, that works too. All right. Does that end your turn, Kai? It sure does. All righty. That brings us around to Eastcan. It is now your turn. Seeing Kai back up on his feet, Eastcan kind of breathes out a sigh of relief, refocuses on the fact that he's surrounded, is going to take a step <laughs> this way. And bringing Mira's staff down to the ground again in the direction of the two zombies, I will once again cast Thunder Wave. You got Come it. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, so DC 14 con save, or they will take nine damage and be pushed back 10 feet. You got it. Con save. Uh, the one to the north got an 18. Okay, so Does he will take, take half damage and not move. Half. Okay, so it's good. The other Zombo. Uh, that's a nine. That is a failure. So he will take nine thunder damage and be pushed back ten feet. Uh, he cannot be shoved back into the veil, so he oh, just goes Oh, it would have been far. straight back in the... Because it's, oh, it's a cube, right, right, right. so it would have been straight so back choo, this way. Choo, yeah, that right way. There. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Sure enough. All righty, one second. Uh, nine points of thunder damage. That zombie is looking incredibly rough right now. Like on its last legs. Well, uh, it's a good thing I can do this. That Damn. absolutely hits. Uh, yeah, Holy 23 shit. to hit for 10 radiant damage to the lonely Zombo who thought maybe, just maybe, he could escape before being disintegrated by a beam of starlight. As the radiant damage chews through the zombie, it is unable to come back to life and succumbs and falls dead once more. I'm doing my best, guys. We all are. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> all right. Does that That'll end your turn, turn. All right. Wait, top of your turn order. Actually, I do still have movement. I'm just going to swing around to this side of the zombie. You got it. All righty. Top of the turn order. Nothing happens because Wormtongue is dead. Get oh, shrek, no worm boy. You can oh, no God. longer summon creatures from the veil. All righty. Milo, it is now your turn. Did these zombies up here activate? Oh yeah, I didn't make them move. I'm so sorry. Activation. They're for me <laughs> on my DM screen. They're kind of hidden by the worm. Go for it. This is this is actually important. Mm. All right, I'll have them move. Uh, I'm gonna have the move of this e scan was in his previous location, so that way it's fair. Okay. This one is going mm. to charge you and is going to swing at you. Maybe. It's gonna get a. Eight. <laughs> All right. Don't know why I, I thought about that so hard. <laughs> I, I think I was thinking of their con save, and I'm like, no, 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 that's not. They don't have a plus three to hit. Uh, this one. Yeah, I can only get there. This one's gonna sidle up next to you as well, and is gonna attack you, Milo. Mhm. Mm I rolled the exact fucking same thing, so that's a mess. <laughs> Let's go, oh, child of Orin. All right, but it is now your turn. Thank you so much for being on it. You guys have been actually really good players. I just want to point that out right now live on stream that you guys have been very, very good about calling out fairness for both sides. You hear both that, you Chad? You guys. We're cool. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> today, we're all the cool guy. So Money, many <gasps> when it comes to cones, can you help yes. me? I, my brain is being dumb. God, I wish so, Wolf 20 had fucking, like, built-in cones and, that would and be really circles nice. for fireballs and cones shit like that. Cones are so weird. Okay. They're very weird. They cool. technically have a specific thing where they hit the tiles in front of them, but it's kind of strange. So, I, give me so two a seconds. Let me okay. just look it up in the book real fast. You're just for your fine. Convenience. It doesn't help that there's, like, multiple oh, ways to do it either. Yeah, that's oh why I God. hate cones. Yeah. I hate cones in this game. I'm honestly more willing to, like, just fucking give it to you because i feel like that's just more fair but thank you i'm just gonna double check it just to see 
If I can't find it here in like two seconds, I'm just gonna give up. Please, the okay. boy's tiny fingers are on fire. Do something. <laughs> I love how it's just like a cone, and it says a cone is this, and it's like cool. Can you give me a visual representation, please? No. no. What do you need those for? This is D and D. We use, use our imagination. imagination. Yeah. Gear yeah. of the mind. <laughs> I'm just sure someone's going to be like, oh, Monty, a cone is this. And I'm like, I know. I didn't have time to look it up. Just leave me alone. Shout out to all the AD&D players who are like, what are maps? <laughs> <laughs> we did it on Skype. <laughs> Literally, I cannot find it in this book. So I'm going to say you hit all three of them. Cool. Because I don't want to waste time looking cool. it up. Cool. So. Milo brings his spread fingers out and shouts out, You'll take no step further! And uh, burning hands. Give me that deck save. Deck save. All right. Boom. Let's I start know. with zombie to the north there. Uh, terrible. Really bad. That's a four. <laughs> so he cool. takes the full amount. Eight points. That, zo that uh, zombie to the north uh, seems... Oh, actually, no. He's... Uh, give me a second. Eight points of damage. Well, it's it's technically eleven because of the three radiant. Right, 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 right. Because I go with, with the three radiant, that zombie crumbles into ash in front of you. This zombie rolled a natural twenty. Cool. Damn. This zombie here. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, it's a soft one. Cool. Uh, so they take Wait, I'm sorry, a soft eight. one? A it soft has a negative one. modifier. Wow, that's like me with strength. Does it get the additional uh, radiant damage to it, or is it just yes. on... It's okay. for, it, it's because it's one spell. If it was, you got if, it. If it was um, Scorching Ray Money, we would have to figure that one out, because it's either spell or attack, but it's three attacks, but one spell. So, gotcha, gotcha. shrug. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fine. Zombie dead is the biggest outcome yeah, of this. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, all right, so that was action, bonus action. Uh, let's slide the uh, funny flail behind the zombie assailing Kai and give it a whop. Give it a whop. Give him a bonk. The holy clang. Whap him. Uh, 20, 21. 21. 20, 21 hits. Four. Seven force damage. Seven force damage. You bonk him on the heckin' head. Oh, real quick, can you move it to this spot? It, it matters because if I need to move it to any more next turn, it's gonna... Yeah, there we go. You got it, you got it. Whew. Yeah, you you bonk that zombie on the back of the head. It stumbles forward. It still seems to have some fight in it, and it is still standing, but it definitely it's took a few The sturdiest motherfucking cool. zombie I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, the zombie is pretty, pretty, pretty chunky, I'll say. All right. Oh. Yeah. I am, I am going to position myself in a defensive narrative stance and call turn. Alrighty, that Vince brings one us boy. to Gaius. It is now your turn. Punch this fucking dick in the head with a battle axe. <laughs> you got it. 16. <laughs> Give me two seconds here. I love punch him in the head with a battle axe. Yep. Uh, yeah. 16, absolutely. I'm going to hits. stab you with bullets. <laughs> <laughs> By the sword of my gun. With six slashing, <laughs> followed by. Uh, <laughs> no, no, not great axe. Fuck, I'm sorry, I laughed too much. Giant smite, two. Giant smite, two so additional eight. damage. You got it. Eight points of damage as you bring down a meaty swing on this thing's shoulder, and it kind of wrenches back your blade as you are locked in a grand melee. And I am still grappling him, so I will. You maintain, are, yeah. You got I will him in maintain a headlock. risk control. Good to know. Alrighty, that brings us to Wormtongue, who is dead, dead. turned to <laughs> dust, basically. He's listening uh, to the You're Dead Game Over song. <laughs> Game over, yeah! yeah! Milo, this zombie is going to swing at you again. Flashbang! Alright, disengage. No! <laughs> flashbang! Ooh, you avoided a crit, which yeah, is good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, but that is still a 19, so that is going to be a... I believe that's still gonna hit because that's gonna that's be fine. a uh 22 to hit you mm -hmm. hey, hey Monty. uh-huh uh i actually forgot to mention i wanted to free action uh uh second wind second wind yeah it's a bonus it. action oh i think it is a, yeah actually i think oh, it I, is a bonus I, action. I didn't spend my bonus action so i could still do that can't i or yeah sure yeah i'll allow it okay cool thank you sorry <clears throat> 
Uh, Milo, you take four points of bludgeoning damage as the zombie pummels you. I'm good. Max HP! Oh, oh my god. Let's go. Wow. Damn. 13 crit oh my max fucking HP. goodness. My fucking, the guy just flexes. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> like you ate a sensu <laughs> bean. No, I fucking, I pepino parry. I fucking, oh I, I pizza power <laughs> parry sound effect. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, man. The ghoul who is stuck in your grapple, Gaius, is going to swing at you with its claws. Let's go. Uh, ooh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Mm -hmm. I need another con saving throw, please. <sighs> 14. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Hey. You are not paralyzed. However, you do take a decent chunk of damage. Uh, you take eight points of slashing damage. Second win, thank you. Th this is why I took second win. Let's go. Yeah, zombie to the really south. Showing off that versatility. Swing at you. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a sixteen to hit. Sorry, was that for me? Was this That's for you. Yeah, this is zombie yeah, to the south. That'll hit. All right, you, for fuck's sake, you take two points of bludgeoning <laughs> damage. Oh, oh. Nice I am the number. tank now. Uh, dumb zombie okay. is going to despise. Welcome to my world, child. <laughs> uh, hairless zombie is going to swing at Kai. Rude. He's jealous. Stop all it. that beautiful hair. Uh, that is going to be a nine to hit you, Kai. Haha. <laughs> no. No, misses. As he swings towards you, kind of kick him back before his claws can register <laughs> on you. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Well, you're right, fucked I'm up now, zombie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, swivel around to the backside of him, and I'm gonna hit him with a saber attack. You got it. My flail. El if only you could grab the spiritual flail. Yeah, right. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> I mean, Twenty-one hits. For sixteen Goodbye. slashing damage. Goodbye. <laughs> Is he still standing? He cannot still be standing. <laughs> no, you Gallagher the zombie into the ground, and as you kill it, you watch as Milo's weapon just starts bashing it like a meat mallet, just like over and over and over again. Uh, the, the real secret boss was this zombie. It wasn't Worm Tongue at all. Uh, yeah, for a while. <laughs> yes, I'm then going to use the rest of my movement to run up behind this zombie that is haranguing Milo. Uh, I'll look down to the, I'll look downward uh, and I'll point my saber in the zombie below me's direction. I'll say, brother, help out Mr. Seat Lolly, will you? And I'll uh, give advantage. You got it. Master of Tactics. God, Mastermind Roads are so cool. Kick him in the crotch, mm. Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> ah, I'm wow, bad. that just fucking unearthed years of my life. Shit. <laughs> Core memory unlocked. <laughs> All right, is that end your turn, Otho? Uh, that is it. All righty, Kai, it is now your turn. Well... I've been given instructions to go help the boy, so I will do just that. I will slide over here. Um, if I take the attack action, can I offhand first? Uh, yeah, bonus action, I'll allow it. Cool. Um, so then I'm gonna Again, offhand Again, this is not as written. I just wanna point out to chat, this is not as written. I just prefer no, this, what, I like giving the bonus action. It's very much not as written. Yeah, it is that's not why as written, I'm but I just prefer it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna swing it's at this completely thing. DM's do, I have, house do I have advantage? You have flanking and you have advantage, yes. Cool, yes. I'll take it. Sick. Uh, it's a 26. 26, yeah, that absolutely hits. Very it's nice. <laughs> Fucking damn it, that's uh, uh, one. One. One point of damage as you stab this guy in the eye. Yeah, great use of that advantage. Well, I'm doing my job. And then um, I would like to hold my action for Gaius' turn. And Kai is going to pull out that uh, spellbook of his. Unfortunately, oh, you cannot hold an action when you've used a bonus action. Holding Fuck an action it. takes I'll... both actions, yeah. Fuck it, I'll do it now. I have a very important question for you, Monty. Mm -hmm. When when Wormtongue was casting, did Kai hear the spells that he, like the, the words he was using? Guttural and yes. It sounded like it was inside. You could hear the spells being cast. Cool. Then Kai is going to hold on to that. He's going to pull power from the orb one more time. Uh, and he's going to call out as he points towards 
the ghoul in combat with Gaius, he is going to say, uh, Morby Taylum! And he's going to cast the same Ray of Sickness spell. You got it. So... Oh God, why is everything showering me in acid? Fuck! <laughs> 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 Yeah, actually, Kai is casting at Gaius. Uh, I so... the, Gaius is ten feet, is, is ten by ten in square, and in splash zone radius of everything. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so it is a ranged spell attack. So I believe that is a D twenty plus five. All right, here we go. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. Plus that. Of course. Oh. It fizzles. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter go. anyway Fuck. because the ghoul is immune to poison and the poison condition anyway. So. Well, that you was did it. cool. There's yep. now a sizable bald spot in the back of Gaius' head now. <laughs> <laughs> so that? next town, we're getting you a raincoat. Because <laughs> you are always in the splash zone. <laughs> well. All right. Give me two mm -hmm. seconds here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. One, two. Damn, you hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reset everybody. Ooh, okay. Let's, okay. Try, let's try this again. All right, <laughs> Kai, does that end your turn? Uh, yeah, that ends my turn. All right, East Canada, is now your turn. Haha! -ha. Glowing eyes turn towards the zombie as East Can brandishes Mira's staff with both hands. Oh shit! <laughs> Two hands. Whack! Two hands. There it goes. Oh, no. oh, we did it, boys! Oh, no. We oh, did it! My That's god. That's a natural that is... one to hit and zero damage on both rolls. I am screen That's... capping this. Someone <laughs> screenshot that. That That's is amazing. amazing. <laughs> we did it! Why do I ever try melee? Melee's dumb. <laughs> I honestly you... don't know. You shove, you bring down Mira's stack, uh, staff, and it goes through the shoulder of the zombie and then gets stuck in the zombie. As you try and, like, wrench it out, it is now just part of the zombie now. You are disarmed. Let you can no longer use it to attack because I rolled a 16 on severity, so you've been disarmed. As the well, zombie looks sucks. down at it in his shoulder and is like, <laughs> For flavor, <laughs> even though he can't wield it, he's just, like, holding onto it with one hand tries to wiggle it free and when it doesn't come free he just goes let go and i'm gonna use my starry form at disadvantage you got it rolls twice 12 uh, hits so 12 I'll to use, hit i'll use the first damage because i feel like that's fair okay mm. uh so 11 radiant damage 11 shotgun radiant style. damage as you shotgun this thing it staggers backwards its head is now missing and it's got a staff still stuck in it it is still alive, but is looking what? terrible. It, 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 it oh my it god! Out it pulls it out of its shoulder and uses it as its head. The staff is his head. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. This is the worst. That's oh my god! Turn. He put on the hat of discipline. Staff head. <laughs> he must live in a cave. Staff head. The, that is such a great zombie name. Staff head the zombie. Staff head the zombie. Put him in the NPC book. Oh yes. <sighs> I'm Does using that, that for something. Scan? Yep, that'll be it. Alrighty, top of the turn. Never order. swinging melee attack ever again. Worm tongue is gone, so you can no longer call creatures from the veil. Milo, it is now your turn. Bring that flail right on over here. Jetson's <laughs> floating noises. Jimma Wampa. Uh, let's see here. God, my eyes. Now hit him. Now hit wow. him with the. Now kick him. Hit him with the. Nineteen. That hits. That hits. Uh, this will not amazing. This, this will this will be this will be using uh, radiant damage because I want him to stay dead. You got it. So seven, eight, nine. Okay, seven force ten radiant. Or no, excuse me, seven force three radiant total ten. My brain. Total ten. Okay, I got it. As you blast this zombie, the zombie hasn't taken much damage, and the mallet comes down on the zombie's shoulder and almost like falls on top of you, Milo, before it sweeps around and kind of swings unnaturally back into an upwards position. And it kind of <gasps> looks towards you. So sick of this. That that <laughs> that that ghoul would have cover, correct? Oh, if I'm I was sick there. of that shit. Yes, unfortunately. 
don't keep Lynn like safe. It. Don't worry. I don't like it. <laughs> um, all right. All right. As he, as, as he reforms, uh, Milo's going to bring out a palm and just blast this thing point blank with a sacred flame. Tis not an attack. It is a save. Saving throw. You got it. So DC 14 dex. I got another soft one. So he cool. definitely takes the four points of damage. Amazing. Four points radiant. He is starting to look very rough. Cool. That's turn. As his clothes are ignited with a radiant flame. All right, Gaius, it is now your turn. Fucking 15. 15 hits. Seven plus. <laughs> One, eight. You did it. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Yeah, You're literally, it's like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Like, ah, ah, ah. like, are you little? Over again. All righty, he's he's in a chokehold. He's he's starting to look rough. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Li literally Hulk bustering his ass. <laughs> it's not a choke, no, it's not a chokehold anymore. I am now just like on my knees, fucking on the floor, just like fucking hands over throat, just throttling him against the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a dog that stole a sock. He's like a dog that stole a sock and is just fighting you. Eat your fucking medicine. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, does that end your turn, Gaius? That's turn. <sighs> All right, it is now Wormtongue's turn. We got no. three. We got three zombies remaining. One is gonna go for you, Milo. Flashbang! It's my last one. You got Don't it. Do flashbang. It. Uh, that is going to be a nine to hit you with the flashbang. Hit him with the Friday cool. night flashbang. The ghoul is gonna swing at you, reference. Gaius. <clears throat> hold up! Hold uh, up! Hold up! Hold up! D4 damage. One. Yeah. Nice. Yep, no, I, I, I still fucking, I still curly him in the eye with a finger. Ah, <laughs> uh, it might actually help you out here because I don't think he's gonna hit you. That is a fifteen to hit. No, he does not. You poke him in the eyeball as he's going to scratch at your <laughs> face. You just, you just twink him in the eyes. Uh, this zombie has choices. You're like a reverse Tonberry. All you do is doink him, <laughs> but it does no damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, the zombie's gonna go for you, E scan. That makes sense. Uh, the zombie's gonna try and go for you, E scan. That is a seven that's going to miss. Heck yeah. Alrighty. That's Oko what happens is... when you have no head, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, he's kind of just shambling around and he's got a stick in his body. Uh, that brings us. To... Could you imagine if he wielded the staff and hit you and did I would like, be so dude. upset. <laughs> would be so now upset. you know how <laughs> one would feel, dude, Mark. Dude, it, I told you, the hat of discipline. <laughs> It's it's the scene from Spaceballs where Lone Star does the neck bench and the dude's like, "What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> no, no, you idiot! It's lower like this." <laughs> all righty, Otho, it is now your turn. Uh, all righty. Uh, between myself and Milo, there is a Zambo, so I am yeah, going to Zambo. carve him up like a turkey dinner. Uh, saber attack. Turkey. Whoa, that was a spin! Uh, ten. <laughs> With flanking, you just hit. All right. Let's go. That is 15 slashing damage. You absolutely assassinate the zombie. Yeah, just save her right through the throat, and then I just take his head off with the remaining momentum of my wrist. It uh, topples onto the stones and kind of falls down the kind of single step that remains. Uh, I will look over Eastcan's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And I will give I will give Kai uh, advantage with my Master of Tactics. Master of Tactics on the zombie. All right, is that end your turn, Otho? That does. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. All right, I'm done with this fucker. I'm gonna punch him in the face. You got it. Falcon. Punch. Does a 13 hit? A 13 hits. I'll take it. Seven. Seven, give me one second. You drive the rapier through like the center most point and the zombie like falls over like a brick because he's got a staff in him that's like keeping him upright. So he just falls over <laughs> like a piece of toast. He just goes slack like hey. a G-Mod model. <laughs> he's dead. Is he dead? He is dead. He failed his undead, his uh, coming undead back fortitude. to life. 
They've been All rolling right, well, shit on their undead fortitude by Well, then. then I'm gonna use my movement to come over here and I'm gonna dagger this one. You got it. I'm to move I got your I back, boy. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's nothing at the top anyway. Come on. Help out your boy. 24. Yeah. That hits. Wow. I'll take four max oh. damage. Four points of damage to the ghoul. He still has some fight in him, but he's looking rough. <laughs> Guy's gonna stab this th or Kai's gonna stab this thing in the temple and go, guys, kill it! What Sorry. do you think I've been doing this whole why is there five of you? I can't oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> He's still violently poisoned. I can't tell which pile is mine anymore. Yeah, you're pretty you smell by the way. Like you smell like like ground up smell. grasshoppers that have just been out for a while. Oh, I smell like insulin? Awesome. <laughs> uh, guys Alrighty. just throwing up the entire time. That ends smell your that turn, Kai. Good. It sure does. All right, Eastcan, it is now your turn. Uh, Is it going to take time to dislodge my staff? Uh, yeah, it's probably going to take an action just to get it out of there. Now. All right, I'll just have to ignore it for now. Uh, I'm going to move down here so I can see the ghoul. Whatever his name is, and I'm gonna use my other guiding bolt. So here it goes. Uh, does a 23 hit? Technically, it does. I'm gonna say because it's grappled and Gaius is big, it's above the air. It's still I'm gonna hit. It in the air. You're like, well, you're you're like super tall. So you're like you're, you're holding. Like, I'm 12. I am 12 feet tall. So I'm gonna say because you're grappling it, this will hit because technically it would have you would it would have full cover because of Kai being there, but because it's being grappled by a larger creature, for flavor you hit it. So 15 points of radiant damage. Yeah. How do you want to kill the ghoul? <laughs> as it's as Kai, into it, uh... <laughs> as Kai comes in to stab it and yells at Gaius to kill it, Gaius lifts up the creature to kind of deliver a finishing blow, but then a beam of starlight just obliterates it. And after it passes, Gaius is holding the charred remains of what's was a, of what once was a ghoul. Cool. I'll just rip his entire chest cavity open and split him in half in the air. You did it, Gaius! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! I need to come up over here to check on Gaius. <laughs> Gaius, you feel quite sick. How's uh, Lynn looking? Lynn is still doing her incantation on the orb. Gentlemen, away from the veil. We don't know if anything else is coming. Come on, guys. Let's get close. Okay. <laughs> Kai, give me a hand. And we'll we'll bring Gaius back towards the fold. Uh, Gaius, how long does your enlarged form last? Lasts about a minute, right? It literally right? ended this turn. Right. Ooh. So did mine. And mine. And, and about mine. Two, <laughs> and about two seconds later, Gaius, you no yeah. longer feel as if you're poisoned as the poison fades. It only lasts a minute. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I feel much better now. <laughs> was the last of it? Hold on. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's mm. gone. As well, you all watch Lynn doing the incantation, you notice that there's like a shakiness to her, and that as she speaks the incantation, that glow within her kind of flares at points, and she has to kind of reconstitute herself as she continues. And as she continues, she kind of staggers, and she stands up and almost like falls to her knees in weakness. Gotta catch her before she does. Uh, he's blocking it. Who's blocking it? You see her head turn towards the north. And oh. she looks at the veil swirling around. She looks incredibly weak now. The orb, it's right on the cusp, but... There's a power that runs deep. It's blocking my spell. How do we stop it then? She looks around at the veil. Do you need to rest? So how do we stop it? No, you need to rest. I cannot send you to your deaths. 
though. No, wait. You watch as she shuffles into her back pouch and she pulls out the scepter. She's like lying on her back, by the way. Like she looks incredibly exhausted. It's the most tired you've ever seen her. She holds it up to all you. You must take this. Take it where? It's a traveling device. It belonged to the queen. You watch as she puts a hand on her forehead. It belonged to me. Oh. In You're the queen of Eastonvale. The day of the festival, a celebration of my life. My husband, the king of Eastonvale. I believe that he made a dangerous pact. That's why you are as you are. And that's why he won't let me stop this. She looks at the wall around you. He's closed the veil around you, trapping you in here, hoping to starve you out. He won't harm me, but he will most certainly harm you. Uh, uh, this... Uh, I'm fine. I will be okay. She looks towards the scepter. That is the Veil Piercer. It is a scepter that belongs to the royal family of Eastonvale. It's part of a relic from the Great Mage War. All five of you have had you attuned to it. <laughs> I was hoping it would not come to us, but now I know it must. If you activate that, all of you will teleport back to the main hub of the Vale Piercer, which is exactly in the center of Easton Vale Keep. The castle? You must, you must go there. You must kill the king and stop this madness. Please. They're the only ones who can do this. I don't have the strength to fight anymore. Kai's gonna grab onto the scepter immediately. Milo will, follow will be right like there. minute milliseconds behind. Mm -hmm. like, Milo, yeah. listen to me. Yeah. Inside the royal chambers, right? to the north of the Veil Piercer, I have a private study. In the desk, there's a drawer. It will be locked, but inside is a poultice. If you split it amongst your five, it will bring back some of your vitality. It is a very powerful item. You will need to use it in order to stop the king. Drink it the moment you find it. I do not know what horrors lie within that castle. All right, I'll be sure to get it. Oh, so you have a lock pick, yes? I do. You'll need to pick the lock. There is a trap, be mindful. I will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that all of this is my fault. Torm Tongue was right. No, he, he wasn't. It wasn't your fault. It's the king's fault. You're trying to make it right. No, you are making it right. I can only ask. As I did before, I can only ask. I cannot make you do as such. We couldn't do this without you. Stop it. We're going to do this together, whether you're there or not. Ugh. She reaches up a hand towards all of you. For you to take. Take it. Take yep. it. Yeah. She looks up at you and she says, Kill the king. Don't let his tyranny reign forever. When I first met you, I made a promise. But if you help me, if you bring Eason Vale's curse to an end, I shall grant you a gift more than you can imagine. Do this, and I, Carolyn Eason Vale, bequeath unto you Eason Vale Keep and the Kingdom. Oh, fuck! Gaius' eyes go fucking wide and his ears peeked up to the sky. 
She looks up towards the statue. As Hoketh, as my witness and the many gods on high, I swear this promise to you. And now I must rest. And she holds the orb in her hand and her body somewhat slumps. She's still conscious, but is tired and slumps against the statue. You can see that glow of the scar on her face and her eyes is like a pulse almost. And you notice the veil around is pulsing in a similar ma manner, a similar magic. What? Wait, what about the orb? I will keep it. I must see the final cast undone. If you succeed, I will know it. And I will unlock the final key to Eason Vale's rest. We will do it. And we'll find you afterwards. Right, guys? That's right. Aye. Right. <sighs> Gentlemen. Let's become Kingslayers. The words of the scepter are pierce the veil. You must say it all at once together. Oh, the will. How do, how do we hurry this up, up, guys? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Just, just for, uh, just for, just so I have it said, I'm picking up my daggers before we go you back. Got it. Yeah, and I'm getting my battle, my hand. I'm back. getting my staff. Oh God, <laughs> I almost forgot. Oh God, <laughs> I need that. Oh, it's gonna be mirror staff, but you can. I'm gonna it. stab you in your sleep. <laughs> Lin also places a hand at your leg, Kai, and goes, "The Veil Piercer is a very important magical item system. It's part of the castle. It's important. When you are done, and I hope that you succeed." You may use the veil piecer to return to me, but not until after five days have passed. Do you understand? I do. Good, good lad. Good lad. I want to be done. I want to be free. We're almost there. Her eyes close and she remains silent. Come on, guys. Gaius is the last to walk over as he's staring off into the distance at the castle. And he mutters to himself, a home befitting to great warriors. I will keep my promise. Wait for me. If you're still out there, wait for me. And I walk back to everyone else. <sighs> Gentlemen. Oh. Go on. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just wondering if we were ready. Ready or not, we gotta go. Try or not, and continue it. Or not, indeed. Only one way to find out. Gentlemen, he sort of holds up the scepter along with all of you grasp of it. Yep. Grab it hold. Mm -hmm. I will count down for you. So we can say it oh. all together. Say, say, the, say it one more time. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be horrid. Yeah, it's, I, know, I know, but that's the fun of it. <laughs> what, what, oh, it is God. pierce the veil is the pierce magical the word. Oh okay. you must all say it in unison is pierce say the veil. Say it with us chat. Say it with us yeah, chat. Type it in the chat. So on the count of three. One, two, three Pierce the veil. All of you vanish in an instant, and as you disappear from the scene, Lynn, in a final mutterance, goes, "Oh, indeed." And that is where the session will end for tonight. Fuck yeah! Ooh. Yeah. And, uh, as the final dungeon of the Eastonvale Freedom Arc begins next session. Oh Ooh. shit! Got a fucking castle <laughs> if we live mm -hmm. yeah we have to survive let's not get ahead of ourselves Bubba fucking castle he <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't, can't believe. believe Lynn lied to me 
directly to my face in like when was that? Fucking September. Mm. To be Can't fair, Bob game, I didn't believe her. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we're in we're in Death Mountain now. Mount. I think she I think she mentioned it at one point where she says it's easier getting out of the Queen's team than getting into it. I think she mentioned Honestly, it. as soon as she had the seal, I'm like, probably you. Well yeah, that's why I asked her. I straight up asked her. Yeah, but she wasn't gonna tell you the truth. Rude. Well she's exhausted now, so you know, maybe we can yeah. let it slide. Mm. Uh, no, I can never trust again. <sighs> yeah, let an electric slide. <laughs> You can trust me, King Agni, on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> I will run this kingdom fair and just. Bring me all my mightiest warriors. I wish to see them fight to entertain me. <laughs> I wish to see them kill themselves. Y'all understand. Oh, there was a there was a really good suggestion in the Discord just now for a title. Yeah. Hoketh's moving castle. <laughs> that's really good. Maybe save that for next session. That's yeah. a really good one. Oh, but that's yeah. still a good title. I'm gonna write it down though. You know, that something to be something to bear in mind, gentlemen, is that if and when we're able to take this kingdom, we have to clear it out of of all the bandits and everything. Yeah. Fuck yeah, well, let's do it. Kill them all. Whoa. 1989. I am trash man. Hold, hold on. 100 million five hundred sixty-seven thousand nine hundred <laughs> dead bandits. <laughs> Connor, you good? I you okay, bud? Yeah. You're scaring your partners. <laughs> also, sorry sorry for no breaks. I apologize. This was a pretty uh, intense No, you're good. Right. It's okay. I peed my pants. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sorry, Chad. That's a Chad move. <laughs> just pee yourself, so Brad. <laughs> this is not going to be the episode title, but I also have, like, a, in my brain, I'm like, French Kiss is the episode title, which I'm like, that's terrible. Well, no. someone in Chad had a good one. Worm got your tongue. Worm got your tongue. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Connor, stop spinning. You'll fall he, down. We've lost him. Connor is, Connor is no longer here. All right. Well, we, we've got people who need to go do stuff, so let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Holy shit. Might be good. Also, I, was, I feel like. What was her real name, by the way? Carolyn Easonvale. Carolyn Easonvale. Carolyn Easonvale. And she swore to Hoketh that we I could get this castle. I cannot fucking believe the desperate attack fucking clutched it. I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, I didn't want to tell you, but I'm like, he's incredibly vulnerable and he doesn't have a lot of health left. And he like. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, no, that was the right choice. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't want to say what happened if, if he got into Kai's mouth, but it would not have been a Probably good Probably really bad stuff. So, so he could have possessed him even if he wasn't dead dead? Yep. Wow, that's scary. Yeah. He's he's got a specific ability that is on a different creature in in Dungeons and Dragons that I repurpose for Worm Tongue and kind of tweaks slightly. It's mm. pretty mm. fucking terrible. Gross. Oh my God, my, my, the whole fucking like my whole the nervous system on the back of my neck was on fire when I was throwing that fucking hand axe. That heal was clutch. Was a roll like, of the dice. Was, yeah, because like if 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 I, I will say this, if Kai was unconscious when that happened, it would be an automatic success for. <laughs> for what Worm Tongue was doing. So by Yo, healing him, welcome. it just. Made yeah, it thank you. Different. Thank you for yeah. healing him. I was and like, killing I, him I can't. immediately removed the problem. I couldn't because I didn't have healing word prepared. I only How had How could wounds. you? Um, <laughs> I, you know, kind of did a lot of fucking offensive casting in this fight. That's how. Oh, you know, I just took four zombies Obviously, alone. It's fine. Uh, Obviously, I'm I'm like relieved that Kai's alive. Obviously, like I'm kind of on your guys' side, but at the same time, like it would have been fucking interesting yeah, if Kai's yeah, body got body, sna body snatched for oh though. Holy I, I, shit! I fucking choke slammed a worm and a ghoul. <laughs> By the way, I just want to shout out real fast because I feel like credit where credit is due. Those worms were actually from uh, the uh, Cobalt Press Tomb of Beasts two. Oh, hey, so familiar. I fucking knew yeah. it. Yeah, I, I, I recently purchased a bunch of their monster anthologies, so I Aren't actually they so bought. Fucking good? They're really good. I got a physical book, but then also just to kind of cover my bases, I also bought the Roll Twenty version as well, just you know for hey, userness. But did you see yeah. the, the, the did you see the monster I made? I know, I know the monster you made. It's yeah. quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of really cool ones there's a lot of really neat monsters that i've already like i want to kind of there's some really creative ones of course i'm gonna make my own monsters too but i'm just like of oh, course maybe some something kind of interesting 
those worms were really fun. I did change one thing about them that I was like, I don't really like this. I'm just going to take this away. But funny I never even worm. saw the face of funny the worm. combat. So. <laughs> funny worm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Good session, you guys. That was really good. And also, we should we point it. out what happened at the beginning? <laughs> Maybe the what thing. are you talking about? Oh, you mean when you yeah. forgot to play the music? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing where yeah. I forgot my music. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We took That's care right. of it. That's all right. We solved it. Yeah. Ha happy April Fools, everybody. We hope you enjoyed it. I'll post that. I'll post that to the Discord so you guys can all enjoy it. If you're not part of the Discord, definitely check out the Discord. But, Holy man, shit. if you were a new viewer, you must have been so confused. <laughs> yeah. If you're a new viewer, what are you doing here on episode 37? 36. 36. Yeah. I was like, 30 hey, uh, something. 30 something. I don't know. Numbers. My head's hot. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I'm warm too. I'm like sweaty. We should go. I want it to be next week right now, even though I don't have any. Me too. Me I'm like, too. I want to keep playing. Let's but... just have an extra I, I, long I am session. A, I am in going. a weird middle no. period of I want it to be next week, but I also don't want it to. Yeah, I, you're I, in a. Yeah, I also actually have stuff I have yeah. to do, so. Un <laughs> yeah. do have Darn to it, do moment. Do yeah, outros. Un here. Unexpectables will literally be the last thing I do on the internet that week before the unforeseeable future. <laughs> All right, well, 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 let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Uh, let's do our outros. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. Currently playing Pokemon Bushido. It's like Pokemon Wakazashi and Katana. It is that level of weeb. It's actually really fun, though, but it's really hard. Like, I've not had a Pokemon game challenge me that hard. Uh, and it's fun. I'm going to finish it, despite how much I've raged against it. Um, aside from that, if you have not seen my big long ranty angry spiel on a Gretzko, you might want to because you'll learn things if you liked that show and didn't know why it went the way it did in the fifth season um get culture shocked and hopefully this week i will have something out for um demon slayer should be a witch ninja on tengi nuzui i've been meaning to get that boy done uh there's a funny little thing to say about kunoichi that i get pretty frothy about so um yes yeah, this is good also, I have a Taiko performance tomorrow, so I'm, uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com, at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my happy birthday bunny cat on Instagram <laughs> at chonk for life Again, this Saturday, if you're in Texas, and in general, just north central Texas, it'll be the easiest for you. Uh, I will be participating in a special, fun, little blue lock soccer game thing. Come on out. It's free entry. Uh, check out the tweet. I retweeted it earlier today. It's also on Crunchyroll's uh, Twitter. Uh, check it out. Come on by. I will be there. Maybe some other people from the cast will also maybe be there. Mm. It's going to be a fun time. Mm. Please come through. I want as many witnesses as possible when I inevitably break my leg. And that's it. Incredible. Zeta, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me one final time for a little bit on twitch.tv slash Zito on Friday. I don't have any plans right now because I have to focus on probably getting a lot of shit done tomorrow and then the rest of the week. But Friday will be the last day I do my personal streams because I will be moving back to the East Coast uh, sometime next week. Uh, I can mention one funny little thing. Uh, I don't know if anyone here mm -hmm. knows the character Rebound, the little the little weird fella I draw all the time and make comics for and play cards with and everything. Uh, he's entering Meat Space and can soon enter your home in Meat Space very soon for purchase, coming the start of April. But uh, I will piecemeal bits and pieces of him as time goes on, and you can see that on Twitter at a uh, at a uh, CZ Backlash. And oh god, I I I am so fucking dreading the next week and a half. It'll be okay. It'll be over before you know it. <laughs> he said, "Ignorance." Yeah, yes. Makeshift has makeshift just teamed up with me again to make an OC available for purchase to fill your shelf space tomorrow. His tail is about as big as him, and actually helps him stand up. It's amazing. Incredible. <laughs> 
All right. Edward Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VM both Instagram and Twitter right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I do. That was a new world record. Unfortunately, we have to add penalty time for clarity. Um, it just wasn't as clean as your intro. So. Uh, I see the, uh, yeah. the, the, the Russian Fuck time, Mark, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> in, in Fortnite, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no! Uh... uh <laughs> That, that's not nope. what I meant. Click. Uh oh. Sorry, I, I not uh, in Fortnite, FBI. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Sorry, I wanted to post a picture of in Roblox. In and I posted I see. a link to the Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Mark in Roblox. It's way more narratively fitting. There, there you go. <laughs> that's the tweet. Uh, Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow should hopefully be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Monday, hopefully Mass Effect, but there will not be a Dragons of Stormic Isle because someone has a uh, thing they have to do. Uh, you can find me on Twitter posting about stuff, and you can find my YouTube, at, which is Monty Glue as well. Definitely check it out. Finger, finger guns. Right okay. on. Uh, and then they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. And you stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, we're going to try to get to the stage where we're wrapping up Judgment here soon on Saturday. Uh, and then we'll be moving on to, of course, uh, Yakuza like, like a Dragon. Tabuya. I mean like a dragon. Yakuza like Tabuya, indeed. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! That's, that's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. And you can use that code when you purchase your official UNEXPECTABLES dice. Brought to you by dieharddice.com. The Elias Aspect Dice are available now. A wonderful... A uh, wonderful porcelain white base with a beautiful navy blue inking. Uh, it can be all yours uh, right now at dieharddice.com. Creepy. Hmm. Uh, yeah. As well, be sure to check out our store. We've got merch available, t-shirts, other fun stuff such as stickers and mugs uh, with Unexpectables related designs, including the Sweet Dragon logo, the Avon's Cup logo, and our brand new logo brought to us by Citric King. I went to Easton Vale, and all I did was die. <laughs> uh, that's not all. We've also got our wonderful uh, community that gives us bits and subs. Before you get into the bits and bubs, I'm gonna have to go. Okay. I'm are, sorry. Are you, are you good if I step out as well? I am sorry. Yeah, you guys can have That is totally door. fine. Alright. Night, everybody. everybody. We love you. Okay. See out. you next week. Bye. See you later. Weaklings. Uh, yes. Uh, where do we leave off for bits and subs, even? I don't even know. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll just start here, then. Uh, Darky Arts, thank you for the 35 uh, months of subbing. Well, this turned into, uh, well, this sure turned spooky. STSDW, thank you for the 25 months of Prime subage. Ellie Kit, thank you for the 16 months the Atom Bomb, thank you for the 19 months. 19 months of Giant Goats, Tactical Pirates, Wizard, Wizard Fumbles, and Glowing Sky Toast. Indeed. Not sure where the pirates are, but yes. Your Conscience, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, Gaius, you fool, you split him in half. Now there are two worm tongues. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be very dangerous if you were moving. Uh, Goss21, thank you for the six bits. Uh, 
I am the goat that is a bro Did you tell me I not have to draw a fucking Gaius in that chopper image? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! It's just him throwing up the entire time. Fuck, you just project that one. <laughs> uh, cha cha cha. Crusty Stars, thank you for the 12 months of Prime subbage. Worm Tongue got his refund on his Kai timeshare. <laughs> uh, Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 50 bits. Even though Worm Tongue is dead, he'll probably still make great fishing bait. <laughs> Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the additional 50 bits. Actually, scratch that. What I said about using worm tongue as fishing bait, bobbit worms, probably. Uh, bobbit worms are terrifying. Bobbit worms are cool, but also terrifying. Bob it. Twist it. Pull it. No, don't do that! <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah. Your conscience, thank you for the uh, 10 bits. I have the Queen of Eastonvale theory for Lynn since August. Uh, a few I'm people so thrilled. called it. Dude, a few people called it like when she first showed up, and I was like, damn, all right. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, chat got hands. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Crit Scratch, thank you for the 100 bits episode title. Oh, Worm Tongue? Damn it. Uh, another episode title from the Zen Lita. Oh, Worm? <laughs> uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 35 bits. Listening to Jonathan Young storm the castle to get hype for next week. Nice. Uh, like to boo you, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Tongue Lashing. Oh. Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Uh, campaign party has a bar or campaign one party has a bar campaign two party gets a castle we got a fucking country my guy <laughs> I rule my kingdom uh... your conscience thank you for the 10 bits episode title the early bird gets the worm uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500, uh, bits. Title suggestion, the worm crawls in, the worm crawls out. Shakes worm it all crawls about. in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Uh, uh ray of sickness, put your left foot. Uh, Stellar Coyote, think of the 100 bits. Okay, on three. One, two, three, sync. Wait a minute. Damn it. <laughs> we missed syncing, but we thank yeah, awesome. There, there, was, there, there was a part of me that actually wanted to make that joke. Uh, episode title, Hope Endures as Morning Comes. Uh, with the U in morning. Uh, for From Killer Chansey with 100 bits, or the 10 bits. Uh, Maximilian, thank you for the 50 bits. I'm glad Bosco finally used some spells that weren't from scrolls. Rare. Uh, Lassa me the robot, thank you for the 200 bits. Castle Unexpectables. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, Killer Chansey, thank you for the... Uh, I am flatlining 10 bits bosco you were right the payoff was worth it though your class is still unconfirmed you have satiated some of my curiosity even when he gives you something you still don't know <laughs> he's in your minds cheshire joker think of the 100 bits uh intellect devourer worm ability i'm not gonna say it's not an intellect devourer though it's something else i'm not gonna say what it is Hmm. Uh, Jet Night Gaming, thank you for the 1,000 bets. Have some late night snack money. Ooh. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Princess Kitsune, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Episode title, Tongue Twister. 
I kind of love that because you guys were basically in the middle of a twister. Okay. I kind of love that though. I like that, that one a lot. That one's really fucking good. I'm writing that one down. I, I kind of. Uh, like that that's one. that's that's all of them. That's that's our bits and subs for the evening. Hooray! We Alrighty. did it. Who would, who would we like to raid? Um. Oh, Nutcase is on. Yeah, I was about to yeah. see that. I haven't seen Nutcase on it this time. I don't know if they're... Are they still streaming? Because they're... Using... They are currently playing Persona 5 Royale. Let me double check. I will go to Yep, their... they're playing. I, yep, let's they let's playing. raid Nutcase, because Nutcase has done our lovely emotes. Yes. What should our raid message be? Oh, Worm. Oh, oh worm. worm. So I'll make sure I got the name down right. Nutcase Art. Double checking it. All right, our rave message will be, oh, worm. All righty, see you guys next week as we storm the castle. Bye, have a good night. Uh, have a good bye, everybody.